All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Jint the Diamond. This game, we're going to be playing Jin Renata and Tequila and Morgana. And in this, in this video, we're once again going to be doing the Kraken Slayer Jin. I'll probably just keep using that build for probably the entirety of the series. Unless I find that it... I decide that it's only good situationally. But until then, like, we're just going to keep experimenting with it. So we're running cleanse this game since it's absolutely obligatory against Morgana. Caitlyn can't afford to not run cleanse against Morgana, especially if her ADC is something that synergizes well with the root, which in Caitlyn's case will be the traps. I am a slave to can't afford to get double CC in lane every time Morgana hits a binding, because we'll just get one shot. Yes, we're starting off a small advantage in this push against enemy bot lane. We'll use Q till I'll sit there so we can maintain the fourth shot for a little bit longer, because Kellen doesn't really want to walk up until we've used it. We can't walk up to like zone her from that melee, because that's too overextended, but we can stand next to the caster that was dropping, make sure she doesn't get that. I mean, she can get it, but then she would have to eat one of her autos. There we go. Nice one. <coughs> I'd say just keep on slow pushing for now, I think, and see how that goes. Okay, Kalen walks up for the trap. We walk up the zoner off. Can't stop replacing the trap. Fortunately, she missed it anyway, but even if she had landed it, we at least get some return damage onto her. So she doesn't get free damage onto our support. Want to try and fourth shot a champion here? There we go. Should go place a trap. Oh, uh, sorry, a ward now. Oh, and we're also going to need cleanse and teamfights for Amumu, of course. I only just noticed the Amumu, though. Oh, I thought that would have bounced at something. My bad. Take Q here, because I'm running low on mana. We don't want to add a third ability to our rotation when we can barely afford to use two as it is. An enemy has been slain. Shall choreograph this affair. Do I need to cleanse here? Yeah. So we won't die there if we get hit by the killing cube, but we'll certainly take a lot of damage that we'd rather avoid. <coughs> so we just cleanse. At the same time though- No, 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 should I go for the cannon? Ah, fuck, my bad. At the same time though, uh, we shouldn't insta-cleanse because we want to actually bait Killen into just walking forwards and using the trap, where she might just take a necessary minion aggro or damage from uh, Renata. There's pretty much no harm in me just- Sitting on the binding for a little bit. Alright, nice one. Still got the, got the advantage in lane anyway. Should go place another ward. Ooh. That kind of looked like a strip, but it might have just been a nice dodge. Split against the scripter yesterday, so I'm already... Literally, actually, my last game was against the scripter, literally. Uh, we can just leave this here, actually. This would take so long to shove. No, no, no. Stop hitting it. Never mind. We're not gonna let it happen. Okay, we shove it just fine, but... We could've just left it pushing towards us as well. I think that would have denied. Mm, well, I suppose both ways deny about the same farm. Thought they would. Oh, okay. Was they have killed the enemy team? I guess Warwick or Zed. Probably War. Nah, it has to be Warwick. Okay. Well, decent first start, I guess. <laughs> GG.
All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Jin the Diamond. This time playing Jin Leona. To Twitch Katarina, I guess? No, not Twitch Katarina. Oh. Huh. Well, these games are just an absolute mess, aren't they? Huh. Okay, okay. Well. I guess we'll just start off slow pushing. <clears throat> Focus here should be to deny as much farm and possibly even XP from Twitch as possible. Oh, hello. I guess he didn't expect Leona to be here. We'll just go aggressive on Twitch here now. Wish the full combo on him and now leave. Now we'll go. Oh my lord, okay. <laughs> Sheesh, okay. Who was AFK? Kindred. I guess she didn't want to play that out, which is fair enough. On to the next game. Alright, gamers, we are back for another Jin game. Hopefully, this one. It's actually going to be a real game. Um, a level W. Ooh, blocked by Warwick or Yorick, rather. Up. Oh, I got cleanse if I need it. I should have flashed on someone there. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's going to be too late for me to base, I think. But no biggie. We'll uh, just eventually base when we can. For now we'll just give our jungler a leash. Yeah, I probably should just flash forwards onto Ash there and just one shot her with the fourth shot. Should be good to live there, even if I take a third shot since we still have cleanse to remove any further CC that hits us. Damn it! I knew I should have used W. Okay, enemy bottom missing out on farm. I, I guess Ash did need the base, so. Nice one. That's gonna be really nice. They're gonna have a very delayed level 2. Ah. Okay, my thinking is we probably wanna <coughs> slow push this wave, then crash on the third wave. Yeah, let's do it. We've got a pretty big wave here. It'll make it easy to shove this in. It's fine if it doesn't hit her. I was mainly focusing on the minions. Oh my god, this isn't getting me into zero lost hits. I need to focus on the cannon here. I might just have to miss this melee. Yeah. Alright, now we just base. We base in this other brush and save vision there. So I can hit that for her support item if she wants. I can always just cancel my base if they go really aggressive trying to engage on her. Uh, we'll pick up double longsword here. What sweet sadness and yes, of course we're just running cleanse this game as well, by the way, since... Uh, this guy is CC, this guy is CC, this guy is CC, this guy is CC. This guy even has a big slow, which we might want to cleanse at some point. It's going to be overall a pretty annoying game. I think generally you'd prefer Force against Nocturne, but at the same time, a lot of like a lot of the time it just feels useless against them anyway. Because the Gale Force gap does, um, dash doesn't actually break the Nocturne unless he really messes up. So it's just awkward to play Jin against Nocturne even at the best of times. We're just gonna go with the Kraken Slayer and see if we can just completely run away from him. We just gotta respect right now the fact that they have the bigger wave, even if they're behind. Oh, she's gonna try and base there. That would not be a good base timing though, when they haven't secured this crash because i just want to freeze this so i just take up the wave a little bit drag it up to the brush now they're kind of forced to stay and now i want to work on thinning this out as hard as i can so we're going to place a trap there we just ignore ash we don't really want to hit the enemies well actually we've mainly thinned it out enough that we could actually look for trades now maybe but the better we think the more we thin it out the better the trades will be because the less minion aggro we will take all right perfect we've thinned it out at this point we're in a position where the enemies if they ever want to base they're gonna have to miss out on a wave which uh, will crash under turret but if they don't base <coughs> they're gonna be laning at a um, uh like ash is just down like two long swords on me when she could at least try and make up for some of that with a base you know 
they're just at a huge disadvantage until they base, but they're never going to base without giving up even more of a disadvantage. So it's just lose-lose for them. We'll go play some vision over here. Uh, could also do with just checking if they have a boss cone. Thankfully, I don't have to check with my trinket. I can just leave a trap there. They're getting one soon. I forget when that spawns. I've always forgot to check that. Nice one, and that should be not a kill, but just a lot of damage done onto Ash. Ash is even more desperate to have to recall soon. So if she were the base now, it would be on a can of whiff, so this would probably be her best chance to try and get a good base, but... I mean, if I were her, I would just soak up this last cannon wave. And tr well, maybe not because you could die here, but... Generally, I would prefer to soak up the cannon wave than base on another wave, because you would rather give up a regular wave than a cannon wave. And you're fairly unlikely to get away with not giving up an entire wave in this situation. Uh, we could shove another wave. Might as well use traps for it since it's really cheap wave clear. And at this stage of the game, Marquia doesn't do too much more damage to minions. Alright, perfect. Now we base again. Honestly, though, it probably would have been better to just shove that kind of with because that took us forever. Maybe because Senna wasn't really helping me shove, but still. I don't really get a much better base for doing that. I'll just get Swifties, make it easier to dodge. We're gonna accuse him because I'm not quite so fucked by Ash's slows. What is this path here? Yeah, we're gonna miss some farm here, sadly. Should have just, uh, based on the cannon wave. I was thinking we would shove it in a timely manner just because of how quickly we could reach it, but... Didn't quite work out that way. Oh, this Morgana has first strike, not Comet. Okay, so our advantage in stats is now significantly less great, because, uh, she matched my double longswords with double longswords of her own. But I've also got a load of move speed to get in range for trades when I actually do have the advantage, such as now when Senna just did a ton of damage. Probably, I should have actually aimed that fourth shot onto Ash. I didn't think she would turn around, but she did. I should have been checking for that. You want to, like, give the opponent time to see if they will make a mistake sometimes. I was in no rush to use my fourth shot on Morgana there. I had a little bit of time where I could afford to wait. Through my work, you shall transcend. Okay, they're gonna base again. And we'll miss a wave for that, hopefully. Uh, this isn't quite under turret yet. Kind of awkward that this wasn't under turret. Oh well. Just gonna reduce the amount of farm that they miss. Um, okay, we'll base here. The next wave is a cannon wave. And I'm running low on mana, even though I don't have too much gold to spend, so... Hopefully my recall doesn't get cancelled here. Nice one. They should have been throwing blind skill shots into that, like the Morgana W, Ash W. I uh, can't really pick up anything else here, we'll just leave. I don't like the call as much on Jin, and it's pretty late for call anyway. Main reason why I like the call is actually not for the gold, but for the sustain. Uh, because it's just a flat damage based off of your auto attacks, uh, Jin is the lowest attack speed in the game, so you don't actually get too much healing on Jin compared to other ADCs, so it's... Like, uh, not the, the greatest example of why I would run call. I don't really get the benefit more from Jin. Even when our auto attack is on cooldown there, we can still just... Trade with the Q while we wait for the auto attack to be available again. That could be a kill on her. Oh, okay. Let's try and use ult. Ooh, the bounce. Oh, he snared them both. Damn, I was thinking it would only snare Morgana. My bad. I was waiting for Ash to walk past Morgana and snare her. <coughs> or was expecting that to happen. Oh, 
Okay. All right. See, the Swifties are just really good for getting in range for those autos. If you have a winning matchup, then it's just really good for actually abusing your lead. Whereas, uh, more ID would just help you win trades that you would otherwise maybe win anyway. Obviously, you would win them harder, but it's harder to force those trades. So, not necessarily always going to give you the better results. Especially because of the fourth shot. The, getting in range for the fourth shot just even once yields to so much more damage than you could deal with buying more AD. Oh, didn't time that right. Anyway, I suppose we should be able to shove this wave. Yeah, we have a much better wave clear now, and Sun is actually helping us as well this time. <coughs> if I had the meta already, I would just place a trap right in the bush right before I recall, but it's not worth delaying my recall for if I don't immediately have the mana for it. Are we gonna wait 10 gold here? We're waiting for mana anyway. My bad. Not really worth cleansing that just to avoid damage. Would rather save it for a life threatening situation. Okay, it's definitely going to be much riskier to try and force trades now that Ash is level 6. Level 7, even. We're going to wait for better opportunities now since they're. She's actually a lot more threatening. Both of them are. We have cleanse, but we go on Ash here since she does more DPS. Ash can't really afford to ignore me, so she shouldn't have. Oop! What the hell? Ah! Fuck that! It went up. Okay, we got her. Yeah, nice one. So, Ash obviously wanted to follow up on the Morgana binding there, but the best thing we can do is just go on Ash. So Ash, instead of following that up, either has to start focusing me, which is awkward because her support isn't focusing me, and she has no guarantee to win this because I'm, I have a lead. Or she just has to retreat, and then Morgana isn't getting follow-up on her engage. Oh, am I in trouble here? I should have cleansed. There was a slow there that I could have cleansed, my bad. But cleansed that, I think I would have been fine there because I had movement speed from fleet. Oh well. Yeah, that's a good crash. Shame I might miss a plating there. We'll wait until we have another crit cloak. Ah, I don't really have to wait. Yeah, we'll do... Phantom Dancer second item. Should be really good for cutting the Nocturne. Then I think we'll just do Infinity Edge third instead of Farcanum, but we'll see. I don't know, because I mean, with Farcanum we get a lot more move speed as well still. Just not quite as much movement speed as we get from Fark, uh, from uh, Phantom Dancer, sorry. Okay, at least this way we still have cleanse up for a fight on bot lane, in case we need that. And potentially the cleanse wouldn't have saved us anyway. Okay, this could be good. Oh no. No, my bad. Oh, Senna, that Q. No, she just missed out on the Morgana kill. No, even the Ash kill. Because she missed her Q. She clicked the, I don't know how she clicked the minion there. That's sad. Damn. I don't know if Ash ult only just came up or if she was just holding it for no reason. That doesn't even make sense how you can queue that minion, but I won't question it. <laughs> like, the only way that makes any sense whatsoever... ...is if she's... ...just attack moving. Attack moving by just clicking, like, on herself. No, but the, that wouldn't even happen, because she would be clicking... ...she would be all attacking minions as well. I don't understand how that could have happened. Oh well. Uh... Fuck, it just cost me a wave, potentially? Okay, I got most of it. Not bad. 
Okay, nice one. I was gonna say I'll get this cannon and then follow up with my ult. Since she's not CC either way. So it doesn't really matter when I follow up with the ult. Just as long as I stay in range for it. <clears throat> oh, my bad. I probably could not have beat him to first turret anyway. But I didn't notice that I was trying to race him. Oh yeah. Could maybe get knocked down. Mm, isn't he still here? Yeah. Diana? Hello? He was right here. We saw him there. What? Oh god, I'm so fucked here, aren't I? Ah, oh, damn it. Such unlucky timing. But what the hell was that, Diana? Hmm. Kind of disappointing. Like, we went into that kind of knowing that she was retreating, but at the same time, we didn't know she would keep on retreating. Even once we revealed Nocton was there, which she somehow forgot about. She clearly knew he was there. Look, it looks like she's walking towards him. Weird. I am misunderstood. Mm, sadly, we must have the turret here. I would try and chase them down, only I don't have cleanse, so it would be overly aggressive here, I think. Okay, well, she's got no Q now, at least. Okay. I probably just cancelled the Ashes base. That's nice. Nice. Okay, we'll group mid now, where there's more likely to be action going on, especially with the Herald up. And even without fighting over the Herald, there's already action. Alright, she should be dead. Perfect. I'm almost dead too, though. Probably not gonna be in time to do anything here so I'll just farm and we should just do the herald now Nocton wants to steal this he's gonna have to give his life for it actually I just want to make sure he doesn't have a blast gun because that would be very inconvenient Alright, all good. I can't miss my W, my bad. Oop, nice one. Mm, I should have cleansed this sooner because I could actually kill her. Realized it too late. Nice one. Hit. Nice. Nice, we get the cannon. Barely. <laughs> Okay, I have enough for Phantom Dancer now. Somebody should go bot. Uh, honestly, I would have been fine with the moment taking the farm, but he's going to go for Ash instead. Uh, okay, well now he's just going to take the farm, but leave that. It's not worth me rotating just to get that, I think. But there's going to be no wave waiting for me after that, since I'm not going to be in time to get most of that wave anyway. <coughs> Pick is up. I guess I need to stay here. Okay, nice. We started off with a pick, though, so even though I haven't spent my gold, we should have the advantage here anyway. Should be a free Drake. Just leave my last fourth shot on the Drake. Now go defend mid. Got hit by that. All good. Damn it, didn't get her. Nice one. Should have used my first shot on the cannon, actually. <laughs> I've flashed to try and escape the knock when it fields me. So we can sort of bait with that. Ooh.
Oh yeah, we can finish this. Hopefully I don't die here. I'm very dead here if Nocturne wants me to be, but he didn't. Nice. Nice. Uh, Ari doesn't have ult. Still gonna need to run though. Oh, she does have ult again. What the fuck? Close one. I don't have mana for her ult, so... Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, this is just too perfect not to get BF Sword, honestly. I think otherwise I would have just gone for Frack Cannon, got the Zeal and... Well, just the Zeal. <laughs> I was gonna say Zeal and Dagger, but that would be the same gold as BF Sword, which is the whole point. Of doing BF Sword. So we'll do... I'm gonna attach third item, and then either Frack Cannon or Bloodthirst or fourth item. I think other one should be fine. Should just try and get this in him, I guess. Ooh. Oh god. Okay, it's not for me. And <laughs> I sniped her. Hmm. Oh, how to send a die so fast? I got cleanse if I need it here. Oh, that didn't kill them, what? I was hoping that would do a billion damage to her by killing every goal here. We keep autoing instead of queuing, so we keep getting more movement speed. Nice, easy kill here. Someone does a billion damage, by the way. Maybe we can get burned now? Or we just try and ambush Nocturne? He's got a spell shield, so it's quite annoying. Alright, he's caught out. Won't bother with the W because we just don't need it. If I stop to cast W and then miss somehow, I might not even be in range to auto attack anymore, or at the very least I lose distance on him. So it's a small risk. When we know we can just chase him down. They will dance. They I'll just go for the top wave, uh, top lane wave before I base. Oh, Jesse going for it, never mind. Thought he was basing. We can get another dagger here. Now building into zeal. I don't think I need to bother with armor pen. We'll just kite around. Deal damage through movement speed. Okay, one drake and we get soul. Let's just make sure they're not on that. I should be able to escape Nocton if he tries to ult on me here. Okay, it's not on me. Damn it. Samoom is a monster as usual though. Focus Yorick. Use the perk to target here. Oh my god, this Amumu, what? Jesus. He's not even- he has one AP out of mana, I don't understand his damage. Nice. 
nice one. Uh, we'll just get the blue right now since I guess it's not really possible to push threats at the moment. Could also just base for Zeal now. I think I may as well because Mumu's only just leaving base. So until he arrives, we're not going to be fighting anyway. Gives us a small window to do this. Could have probably also sold Doran's Blade for a Kerr Chase, but whatever. It's not a big deal. It's only a 700 gold component. In fact, actually, I'm not even sure that would be worth it, come to think of it. It's barely better than a dagger besides the Energize. We should try and get Nocturne here. He's being greedy trying to get the red buff when we have so much map control. I should have queued it actually for the last hit. No worries, doesn't matter too much. But I just uh, sort of just saved the fourth shot for Nocturne damage. Oh. Nice one. We just kite out of that. Oh, nice predict. You almost got me. Yeah. I think regular Jin would have been fucked there. Who knows, the girl for us active would have saved me. We just get more overall mobility with this build. Girl for us is only very, very temporary. But good thing I had the cleanse there, that's for sure. Play it safe with the flash. She's dead. <laughs> you just get to do so much damage because the movement speed is just so good at enabling. Okay, she has no charm now. Dead. Whoa, I meant to Q before the fourth shot. My bad. Ooh, okay. Let's just take down the Maiden, if we can. I'd rather not be walking up to the Aurea of all champions, just because of the risk of getting charmed. Got her. Ooh, I almost missed that on the Morgana. It's gonna be going for me. Let's try and sprint it. Ooh, nice one. Alright, GG. That was a fun game. Alright, gamers, we are back. Hopefully, this is the same Amumu as the previous game. Because that guy was cracked. I was actually trying to time my 4th shot for the last hit there. I did not realize that I didn't have 4th shots charged already. I missed <laughs> miss time my autos. I must have counted the kills in auto. Should we go and kill in here? Hmm, this could be very good, yes. Yep, with this Trogath flank, it should be completely free. Ooh, that was bad synergy, though. Trogath needed to be more patient there. We could cleanse that, but we're not going to reach kill in anyway. Unless... I guess she dies, even without cleansing. Ooh, nice one, Trogath. He redeemed himself. All right. We don't get to spend our gold in the end, but that's well worth it. Just have... Uh... Wait, this is a Mumu support? Oh, I thought that was our jungler. But yeah, well worth it. Just have more gold. I guess that's not going to be the same Mumu as the previous game then. But hopefully it's just as good. Already off to a great start. We can literally just shove this wave and recall. There's no point staying rather than that, like longer than one wave here. There we go, managed to get every CS there. Let's get the double longsword. 
perfect. I think the order I actually like to buy items on Jin, by the way, is just like double longsword into Swifties. This one feels great to me. I don't find much point in finishing the Noon Quiver, since it doesn't give you that much more AD. And you don't push the wave too much faster anyway, because you don't have attack speed to abuse the additional 20 damage to minions. So you just get double longsword for a solid amount of AD, then Swifties for just general mobility, for bullying. I actually didn't miss a single minion for this recall, by the way. Okay, I missed that last hit, but uh, we didn't miss any XP whatsoever. That's really nice. We did lose Pryo on the wave though, but it is what it is. That's worth it. Just have the double long swords. My bad. We can use the movement speed from our fourth shot onto the minion to actually get him range to use Q and kill into. That's a nice trick to watch out for. Oop, my bad. I forgot about the Mumu. Support item. I'll surrender angle that so I would get the last hit and also hit the kill in. Wasn't really worth it just to get one custom minion, honestly. Ooh. Killin. We want to ignore the Zyra, only for our killin' here. And eventually we'll get killin'. Nice one. Alright, we're not gonna kill Zyra, so we're just gonna go for the rest of the wave now. Hmm. We're not... quite gonna be able to... crash this wave, so we may as well just focus on slow pushing it instead. We have a lot of liberty in how far we can try and shove it while it's still being a slow push though, because it's so hard to crash by accident even if I want it to. Well, I don't it wouldn't be an accident if I wanted to, but you get what I'm saying. But this way we can shove. This will be the crash. I'll use E since uh it's a very cost efficient twiff clear. Oh, I need just one more trap. There we go. One moment. Just clear it, clear it. Alright, perfect. Now we base. So long as I can see that they're not freezing this. Do they have vision here? Ah, uh, this seems like they do. They do. They knew that for a fact that it was exactly in that brush, it seems. Uh, we have Lee on the way, but... Quiet and convenient. This could be really good. Zara really overextended there. A moment didn't really punish it though. I guess we'll go and kill in instead. Ah, I missed it. Oh, uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Didn't mean to get into a range there. I was playing with fire. Yeah, no put in a Mumu flashing. Better save that. Alright, decent base. I definitely would have preferred to have base there. That was pretty awkward to try and make a play there. They definitely overextended, but I think... We should have probably given up on it when Amumu just didn't immediately punish the Zyra overextension. Instead, he started retreating when, like, this is so bad of Zyra. And so bad of Amumu not to punish it. Right here should have been queuing her. Ooh, hello, I'm already in lane. <clears throat> Oh, this is killing way overstaying as well, though. Nice one. Don't even bother using the W because it's just completely overkill. She's going to die no matter what. So I'd rather just make sure that I'm walking into range of her, making sure that I'm available to take the kill for myself because I'd rather have it on me than Lee Sin. We can just honestly... Mm. Yeah, we can base here. We'll just base for a Crick Cloak. Uh, Noon Quiver. There we go. Cool lot of recalling, or at least recall attempting. Oh, no, I got baited into cancelling this. Oof. Okay, Karina's on the way. I think this might be worth it. Ooh. Nice one. Oh no. Mm. Ah, didn't get her. That sucks. Ooh, hello. No! Fuck! Well, that sucks. My bad. I should have probably lived there if I flushed through that wall. Drop another my bad in the chat. Keep having to cancel my recall every time I want the recall, though. At least this means I get to go with pickaxe instead of crit cloak, though. 
And I think I did get one kill there, didn't I? Shame about the Sidrani living, though. Okay, if Amumu can freeze here, that would be nice. Even just attempting to freeze, it keeps killing in lane longer, which makes her recall worse. Now she's gonna greed again. We just ignore those casters. We want to cancel our base. She has no E, does she? What is she doing? She's dead here. Yeah, this time she actually... She did want a base instead of greeting in lane for more farm, more kills, or whatever she was doing before. But this time she actually just greeted for a really good base. Like, obviously, I think most players would not have punished that, right? I think most players would have just gone for those casters. But I'm aware that Kaelin is trying to get a recall, and she's obviously going to try and recall uh, really, like... Uh, without venturing too far out, like not going to walk all the way to her turret because she wants to get a good recall, right? But it was already kind of too late for that because it's already messed up by staying for so long trying to punish the Mumu when there was no gain for that. She needed to recall. She wasn't going to be around to punish the Mumu being low HP. So she delayed her recall long enough that I can just go for her there. And obviously she didn't need to die for that. She just needed to cancel her base and leave. But uh, the only reason she was in that position was taking far too long to recall. Uh, I guess I don't get to recall here either though. That's fine. Whoever we hit here, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Hopefully we hit every shot. Ooh, okay. I think I was gonna miss the last one anyway. So at least it does damage to Zyra. Okay, that's really nice. Once again, Killen should probably be looking to recall her. Oh, okay, she's not. When do we have the Amumu level 6? Oh god, that, what is this obscene damage? I think I hit by Q there. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, she's trying to recall, but I know the exact spot she's recalling in. Oh, okay, I was going to use W to cancel her base. She's already recovered HP. She must have had uh, potions. Ooh. Fuck, I'm actually dead to that. My bad. Mm, I'm only just hit level 6. Kind of a shame. Let's go for a dagger. Once again, doing the Phantom Dancer second item. Should be decent against that comp since they have 3 melees. If the comp were more ranged focused, I would just probably do Infinity Edge second item. Oh, should be a kill, right? Oh, she doesn't have ult. Now she does. Use ult. Nah, it doesn't matter. She's still got the same kills anyway. Okay, now Sidrani's running. Now we use W. We don't, we don't want to use W when she's running towards us because that's exactly where we want her to go. We know we're not gonna, we know she's not gonna kill Katarina anyway. So the moment she knows she has to retreat, that's when we want to use W. Didn't be able to kill her anyway, sadly, but that's the thought process you should have there. Hmm, <clears throat> I don't need the base yet. Nice, she's dead. Good shit. She plays really aggressively, like, so, but a lot of her aggression is actually good. That was a really close fight. If I hadn't landed that W, I think she actually might have stood a chance of winning. That was really close. If she she also could have landed a net, which would have put her a lot closer to winning there. Just because it's not working out for her though, I, doesn't mean that like she's playing stupidly or anything. Like, um, I mean, she's her macro seems pretty bad, but her knowledge of when to go aggressive is actually decent, and she doesn't just uh, stop going aggressive uh, when she's put, done a slight punish. She keeps trying to go for like maximizing her autos, which is really really good. <laughs> Like, every time she detects an opportunity to go aggressive, she goes really aggressive, so long as she knows she's not gonna get punished. This time, like, this time she was wrong, she was just wrong about, like, how she would win that 1v1, but it was, it, like, again, it was just down to execution, mainly. I executed it slightly better. I think overall, killing should have been advantage there, though, and she kind of almost won it.
At this point, though, she would be trolling if she keeps going aggressive, because she's just far too behind now. Yeah. My point exactly. I can just seriously down because with this. She needed to play a lot more defensively at that point. Because you saw how close that fight was, right? It was down to an execution difference, but at that point, I had just arrived into lane with far more items than her. And that, now I don't even need to play it a lot better than her. Or slightly better than her, I just need to play it. And I will win. She should have realized that. <coughs> ah. Ooh, if that landed though. Hello? Does she have help here? Doesn't matter. Oh, hello. Okay. May as well avoid the turret shot since I might need to flash the next shot anyway. Thankfully I'm not low enough to die to kill an old tear. That would be awkward. Just get my... First shot on the turret. And you see, she doesn't just stop auto attacking Mumu once and then moves to the minions. She gets like three autos in there. It's really good. I wouldn't be shocked if she's a smurf. I don't have to care too much about Kaelin walking up to me there because we do have a Mumu kind of protecting us there. <coughs> you shouldn't have tried to use a Q though unless she actually kept on walking towards me. Yeah, she plays a lot better at, uh, like, having the, the right amount of aggression than most loyal players do. If she were actually winning, she would be getting a huge advantage from the way she's playing. And it's uh, very unfortunate that she isn't winning, because it was one close fight we had earlier. And now the lane just looks like this, which is a bit rough for her. Varkana just makes it extremely... Or sorry, Phantom Nasser just makes it extremely easy to chase her down once they land one auto. She should not be trying to trade at all now. Unfortunately for her, I am just as good at... Ex exerting the right amount of aggression as she as uh, she is. Because again, most players would just like land one or two autos there and not just go for the kill from full HP, which is what both me and her keep trying to do whenever we have a good fight or a good trade. I can push another wave. The enemy team is really distracted on mid, and I'm not guaranteed to get there in time to influence the fight. I'd rather get the free farm. But I'm not going to be able to push this turret much, because Kilan is arriving again. So I'd rather rotate mid now. Should be a free call on her, I hope. We don't get aggro here. We just oof, walk out. Jesus. Ow. Got her. Nice one. Yeah, damn. It's, it's, but it's very important there that I didn't take aggro by hitting Zyra before I was ready to kill her. Before I was in range to kill her. Because if I got aggro there, I would have been so dead. We need to wait until her CC is over and we're actually exiting the turret range before we start hitting her. I was hoping I wouldn't have to walk up so far just to even get her. But unfortunately, she started walking forwards aggressively the, sim the same moment that I started to flank her. It was a little bit unfortunate, I think. Uh, Yasuo? Did it to get another crit there? Oh, I'm very screwed here, unfortunately. Shame about that. But, overall, it's a good fight for us. I probably just had a massive shutdown, though. Yeah, 900 gold for Yasuo is unideal. But it is what it is. Okay, what do we want to do here? Infinity Edge or Fire Cannon? I think we can do Fire Cannon. I think it'll be really nice here. Uh, you can already tell that I'm just, like, chasing people down really effectively. And I think I, I think my damage is going to be fine. No matter what. So we'll just get even more chasing power and more range to get our attack speed. Uh, movement speed procs from. I think I'll just wait for this Fire Cannon. Even though it's a, it's a lot of time to wait, but I think it's worth it. This is also... Very little waves that I could go to at the moment. There will be a bot wave waiting for me. 
I, th I hope anyway. Actually, maybe not. Should probably push towards them. We'll just head towards the Drake. Eventually, this will push towards us, though, probably, because it's on our side of the map. <laughs> what was he afraid of? Yeah, it's gonna take a while for that bolton wave to actually push into us, so we'll just stay mid for now. Oh, and this is going to be an easy mid lane turret. Solo gold for me. The annoying thing about playing against Yasuo, though, will be his wind ball will just randomly deny me crits, which will re just randomly deny me movement speed as well. It's going to be really annoying for my mobility. Expecting to get movement speed from an auto, and then it just gets cancelled out. I'll go hello. Okay, that's a wasted one. Well, that's really good. I keep chasing. I keep chasing. Damn it. Got her. Just do not let up the aggression if you have the advantage and you're not going to die for continuing to go aggressively. That's a big mistake a lot of low elo players do. Kaylin, for all her faults, she actually doesn't do that. You just keep chasing de people down until the end of the earth if they're not going to kill you for it. Also crucial towards being a good Ash player as well. Jin and Ash are actually both very similar, and that is very important for mastering them. Uh, well, at least with this uh, Jin build, anyway. Oh, didn't notice that, my bad. Nice one. Yep, this build is just ridiculous. Man, I fucking love it. But if you hit somebody once and then just back off, even though you keep, keep if, even if you could keep going on them, then that's just not taking full advantage of what you can do. And you're just not gonna find as much success with this build as you otherwise could. The whole point of builds like this is that one auto leads to fucking 10 more autos if you play your cards right. You need to be taking advantage of that to succeed with this Jin build and with Ash and just with ADCs in general if you can't keep chasing regardless of not having a slower movement speed boost. Don't just do one auto and back off be and be happy with just the one auto attack trade. We'll just base here because I have no mana. Even though I can't afford my item yet. We'll do crit lock. I think it's very important towards our mobility to always crit, so. It's decent for our damage as well at this point anyway, since we have so much AD. The more AD we have, the more effective crit is as well. That becomes even more true after you finish the Infinity Edge itself, because it also obviously increases the value of crit by giving you a crit amplifier. Oh, I can't auto her through the wall. There we go. Missed her. Ooh. That's not good. So we're already getting ready to try and land another auto on her. It'll have to be until we get Farkin There we go. Now we just back off. We would die if we got Zyra knocked up by the Zyra ult for sure, but we don't have to get knocked up by it, right? <laughs> I have plans if you don't know get hit by that, by the way. I need to flash that. Hopefully it doesn't have Wind Wall. Mm. Oh, my bad. 
Okay, we've, we're fine. Okay, I got another minion that I can crit, but I didn't crit it. All good. Still overall faster than anyway. Uh, anyway, with uh, two ZL items. Perfect. Hmm. I have to wait so long for this turret, uh, uh, for this mini wave, so we can push this turret. But I guess it's worth it with our death timers. Team is going bot though. I guess I'll be alone here. Maybe I can just get the turret by myself, but I probably won't be able to. Yeah, I won't be able to get the end hit for sure. We'll get this turret and just rotate. Just making sure I got it. Okay, this rendered. GG. All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Jin to Diamond. Gonna be playing Jin Zyra. Quite a nice combo. Damn, how do we not get that? Into Ezreal Nico. Still haven't leveled anything here in case we want to level W. We have the option of doing that, but if nothing's gonna happen, we still have the option of leveling Q. Looks like nothing will happen. This game we actually do get to run the ghost, which is really nice. Since they don't have too much CC this time, pretty much the only person I would want to CC this game is Nico, or Cleanse, their CC off is Nico. Um, but for the rest of them, there's really nothing besides slows. Uh, so it's going to be really good to run Ghost, because as much as you might think, like, maybe it's just overkill with how much move speed I get. At the same time, it enables me to just get in range more easily of that one auto onto any champion that can just enable that chain of movement speed bursts that can allow me to get kills. If I don't run the Ghost, it could easily be the difference between just not getting that one auto that leads to the Massacre and not getting it, you know? So, it's really nice. Even if it may seem overkill when you are just getting all of those fucking movement speed boosts. I swear each performance is the last, but I lie and, and we were playing against the Nico support, so I haven't actually played against this on support yet, I don't think. Yeah, two Ezreal's. At least since the rework. I don't know how much they changed. I think they only changed their passive, didn't they? Or maybe her ultimate knocks up now when it didn't before, but that's about it. Can we disengage onto Ez from Ezreal now? But yeah, double mage matchup. It's gonna be very bursty on both sides. It's gonna be very important to try and not get burst down by the Nico at level 6. Nice one, that is really good. Good shit. Very nice. Alright, let's shove this wave out and then we can base. <clears throat> nice one. Alright, now we base for the double longsword. Luka's kind of low, but nothing we can do to her into turrets, so. I'll just get another potion in case we end up needing that. I feel like three potions would be overkill, though. Yeah, as Relenter's lane with only a tier, so that's really brutal. Gonna be a big difference in inventory. I basically have triple AD components while he has nothing. You shouldn't even start at uh, tier on Ezreal for that reason. It's just really, really bad early on. You want to get it on like first base when you can actually get it alongside other stuff that are um, going to help your lane phase, or at least having already had the Dorrance Blade. If all you can base in is base on is a tier. Okay, so our focus here is just on thinning this out. So at the moment, he didn't have um, gold for buying any more components during that lost base he had. But he will have after shoving all this, so what we want to try and make happen here is that he can't get a clean shove, can't get a clean crash, so he can't base on it. So we're doing a good job of that so far. I managed to at least delay his base long enough there, or delay his crash there. So now he's start trying to stick around for another wave. And hopefully when Zara gets into the lane... Actually, we're gonna just sort of gank them. Okay, this is really good already. We'll pop the ghost here. Timing the first shot for the lost hit, ideally. There we go. Yeah, see, he could have... If he just crashed one wave cleanly, he could have just based and grabbed a longsword or a Doran's Blade or Cole, whatever he wanted to get. 
But we just keep trying to delay it, putting it up, putting him off of it, so he just keeps staying in lane. In this case, it turned out to be the advantage turned out to be that we got a gank that he fell to, but otherwise. Uh the, the idea is that Zara gets back into lane and we get prior. And then he's not gonna be able to base unless he wants to give up a wave, which is gonna be a much worse base, and he's gonna choose not to do that, because who wants to give up a wave? But he's just gonna end up having to stay in lane, therefore. Laning with very short components against my Doran's Blade, my Longsword, and my other Longsword, while he's literally only got a tier. Which would be a miserable time in lane. Whereas if we don't try our hardest to stop him from crashing that wave, he crashes it, and then he can just base and get something. Uh, this is gonna be Nico. I guess. Mm, she's actually doing a good job of cancelling my base. It's a cannon wave though, so I can actually still base. Don't touch the wave, don't touch the wave. That's really bad. I hope they don't... I hope they just uh, break that freeze by continuing to hit it. Because she did just create a freeze for them, if they would actually accept it. She might have just cost me a cannon as well. I'm lucky the cannon will live though. Thankfully I've got W to loss at the cannon with once I arrive. And I got Swifties. Ooh, she just hit it again. Oh no, it just walked forwards. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. It's really nice by the way if you can manage to root somebody into the Zyra plants, which would have happened if I managed to land that W on Nico. Okay, she's gonna flash or she's fucked there. Nice one. I'm managing to get all of the kills so far. Very important. awkward to try and base on this cannon wave, but I'm gonna have to, since otherwise it's not gonna crash. Can't get a good base without shoving this in. Let's use both traps here. Actually, nah, only one will be necessary here, actually. Nice one. Managed to shove that in just fine despite it being a cannon wave, but we only have limited time to make this base work now. I might just choose to stay because Ezreal is actually kind of low here. I don't have too much mana to punish that, but we might get something. Oh, they flashed that. Oh, no, I misclicked the trap when I was trying to use Ghost. Ah, oh, that blows, man. Oh, I think I should have been fine there. Oh, well. Did I? I have a ghost because I tried to use ghost and it didn't activate. I think it only just came up. Yeah, it only just came up at the end. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh man, I don't know. I might have still been hit by that Q anyway. Okay, we get a good base here at least. Yeah, I was actually. But by the way, there I could have used my W to harass the Nico, but I was intentionally just holding on to that mana, so we could hopefully just get the ultimate. We needed about 17 mana for that. With the ultimate, we actually set a chance of getting kills, whereas the W would have only been poke. Would not have finished anybody off there. Okay, it's gonna be too late to crash this wave to make Ezreal miss farm, so we may as well just slow push this instead. I'm gonna clean a crash later on, which will allow us to either poke them more effectively under turret, or we go place Vision, which I think Vision will be good. I just noticed they have a Zac, by the way. I mean, obviously I saw it before when I was evaluating, evaluating whether I needed cleanse, but it only just occurred to me. Oh, they have Zac. He can jump on me through walls. Should probably get some vision for that. A hit her. See if we can pull it up. Oh, that was the real one. What? Okay. Can I get this plating? Ah, too late. Mm, okay, we we'll Zizak mid. We don't need the ward yet. Just 
barely not a kill. Okay, we'll rotate towards the Drake now, where there may be a contest. Ooh, that Ezra lot sucks for Trundle. Nice, she's out of range of that plant, so she can't kill it. So she takes more damage from it. Nice one. I'll use Ghost to try and get onto Nico here. Ooh. I think she's dead. Ooh, okay, just barely not to me, sadly, but I'll take it. I'll just drop one auto and then escape. Well, leave with fleet so I can just finish shoving this in. I don't need to shove this in, but I definitely prefer to do it since otherwise I miss out on the cannon. Alright, I'm basing. Ooh, actually, I'm so close to Kraken Slayer. Oh, it's gonna be awkward turn to shove in with uh, no mana. I think I can do it, especially if Zara helps. Alright, close enough. Hopefully that's not the real Nico. Yeah, nice. Not cancelling my base like she should be, since I have no mana, so I'm zero threat to her right now. We never actually ended up placing that vision. Or did we? Well, we got some vision down. It's important to have vision here in particular. It's less likely that he will try to jump on us through this brush, unless we're directly under turret. Would be nice to have a ward in that brush as well, though. If we can reach it. Hello. Whoa, she was a minion there, wasn't she? I didn't even notice. Ow. God, that sucks. Ah, I can't get in range from my force shot to match the trade either. Kind of risky, actually. We'll focus Ezreal because he's the one who would want to punish me here. I missed all of them anyway, my bad. Ow. I'm just gonna go hit the golems where I get a full heal with my fleet. If I do it onto minion instead, it's like 20%? No, 80% uh, reduced, I think? I'm not sure. Since we want to heal up here. Oh, god damn it. My bad. I keep forgetting. Oh, we have a channel. No wonder I lived. Oh, I think they were focusing Zara anyway, so I think I would have lived either way, but that's their own fault. But anyway, nice one. Zara, Zara also managed to ult before she died. Which made a huge difference there. Anyway, did she do that from the brush or was she like a minion, which I didn't notice again? I need to review that once I start my recall. Hopefully, still there. Oh god. I'm not gonna get to review it then. Okay, hopefully we get away now. Damn it, that was a very unfortunate time for him to use E. I think I kill him there though. Nice. Good shit. Well, that was a bit lucky. And we don't get to review the Nico thing. Oh well. Yeah, I guess I'll need to count minions. God damn. Ooh, I guess I might as well wait and gold. There we go. Okay, six minions here. You know what suck is that I it could be it could be that there were seven minions in that wave. Obviously I know Nico's mid, right? But I'm speaking hypothetically. It could be that there were seven minions in that wave, which is sus. But one of them died, and so now I look over, and now there's six minions, and I don't know if anything's out of place or not, because I didn't see the one minion die. The Nico passive is actually so useful.
Especially if if they have a slow push going, she could easily disguise herself as one of her own minions, and I would have no idea. Nice one. Zoned him from trying to lost set since he didn't want to eat my fourth shot. Can we see Zach? Oh, dude, I was looking at the map. Nice one. If this hits him, then I go for the ult. We get one free shot, then we wait for him to use it. Ooh, okay, nice one. During the route, we just get one free shot. Unless maybe if they're max range, maybe you don't get the ult off in time. I'm not sure. But definitely if they're mid-range to close range, the route is enough long enough for one ultimate hit the land. We can run him down here, even if he's away, he's gonna die. Eventually. There we go. And we get the full turret gold too. We just got 600 gold from the kill on the turret combined. Yeah, we'll just go Fire Cannon again. It's going to be really good against their comp once more. It's going to be really good for cutting the, both the Olaf and also the Zac even. Trying to avoid getting in range of his... Or staying out of range of his R once he activates that. Getting out of range of his W. Hopefully managing to avoid his Q. Even for dodging his E, it'll be really nice if we happen to be all attacking a minion at the time. This could be Nico. Yes, one of them is Nico, that's for sure. <laughs> I hadn't even counted them, but just based his movement felt suspicious for uh, Zach, you know? It felt more like a Nico movement. Zacks don't just walk around in front of champions when they could be jumping on them. Alright, we'll get this turret and just rush towards bot, where there will be a wave waiting for me. Probably gonna miss a cannon, but it will. Come on. Come on. It's not gonna survive that auto, is it? Yeah, had to try. Let's drop back there for some vision. Holy shit, the Zyra ult. Got him. Nice one. Can I get Nico? Probably not. Where is she? God damn it. What the hell? She pulled a Houdini on me. Probably just ran straight to the left. with the auto because I'm brood like that and because we know it's pretty safe okay you can't reach me we do manage to dodge the Zaku thanks to the movement speed and that's a free kill on Nico I hope ah damn it okay nice and we're just fine here Ooh, didn't mean to water that. Got her eventually. <laughs> it's just too fun, man. There's... Just, it's just... It's gotta be the most fun ADC build in the game. Nothing comes close.
Oh, got hit. Got her. And we got them. It's just so good against melee champs as well, especially the champions like Olaf that can only run at you and have no instant gap closer. But even the ones with instant gap closers, like say Katarina, if you, uh, well, if we're talking about tank Katarina who doesn't just tank Katarina who doesn't just one shot you, then they can like instant gap closer onto you for sure. But they can just walk away from them unless they have hard CC like Renekton maybe. But if they don't one shot you, you just sprint away from them and there's nothing they can do to get close to you again. Nor can they escape from you. Got her. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here and spend our gold. We're not even on the Drake as real. There's not much waiting for us on mid. We may as well just go straight to Inferno. I'll just do the Raptors on the way there, I guess. Nice one. Predict the juke there. Oh god. No. I'm fine. Okay. Try and finish him off. Cool. Oh hello. What the hell? Thankfully I'm tanking enough to survive her. Kill the clone too. Why not? Where did she even come from? Was she disguised again? Or does she come from out of vision? Oh, I was about to fourth shot him. I should not tank that. <laughs> Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back. Gonna start off with some cheese on this Ezreal. Who's trying to cheese me? Not gonna happen, not gonna let you get away with that. Bitch. Oof. We'll pop Ghost here. We can actually try and get more out of this. We got Timus backing us up. He's going to flash through. We're going to follow. Nice. Even if he'd healed, we still call him with a fourth shot. Easy kill. I guess it was actually alone there. Huh. Kind of awkward for him. Means that I actually don't have to retreat, which gives me enough time to base and get a longsword. Ezreal is already going to be down a potion as well. Anyway, this game we're going to be playing Jin Pantheon into Twitch Ezreal. This looks like a really good matchup for us, actually. This looks really painful for Twitch. His aggression is going to be very limited before he just gets fucking one shot by Pantheon flash W. Probably going to want to roam a lot this Twitch. Oh, and God, how are we getting so many just early surrenders and remakes, man? God damn it. GG. Alright gamers, we are back. I probably should have leveled W here, my bad. Oh good. All good. We are back for another game of Jinta Diamond. This game I'm gonna be playing Jin Senna. Into Brand Jinx. Kinda of trading alone here. There we go. I got the fourth shot, so Jinx does not want to trade that single. Like, my auto, my fourth shot does double the damage auto attack does. The last thing she wants to do there is trade one auto for one auto. We'll pop Ghost here, because, uh, either, yeah, either Brand flashes or he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And we still land the fourth shot at least, so we get some damage off of it too. Not just forcing his flash. Can maybe get Jinx here? They don't have Brand Q, so. Yep, yeah, nice. Yeah, so I can get hit by the Brand W there, but I'm not gonna ever die, so... Nothing 
Okay, I think Jinx is basing. We want to try and crash this fast. Instead of going for the usual two wave slow push into third wave crash. That's where we just maximize the amount of farm she misses. Uh, and I suppose we can also just stay here. No point basing on this amount of gold. That's why I usually want to crash on the third wave, never the second, because unless you get a kill, there's just uh, nothing to buy at this stage. Also not going to be able to crash the third wave here though, so we're going to be just laning until probably double long sword. We already have a farm lead over Jinx though, like a pretty big one. So despite not having kills, at some point we would like to base and spend this gold advantage we have. Oh, my bad. Misclicked. Nice one. You can squeeze in one auto there. Off of that W. And she might die here. Ooh. I don't want to flash for it. Okay, nice one. I was afraid that if I flashed to try and fourth shot Jinx there, I would kill her for sure, but I would also maybe take a turret shot, after which I'd die. There we go. That time, since it's just Jinx alone, I know nobody else can finish me off after getting hit by the turret shot, so it's extremely worth it. I should have queued there, actually, not... fourth shot, but I will. Uh, we can get this plating and then leave. There we go. Now I'm out of here. I don't even want to stick around for whatever's going on here. I do not have the HP to be trying to help. I just want to base and spend my gold. Guess we'll just go for the Noon Quiver here. And we'll get Swifties on next base. Probably. Damn. That's rough. It's very simple. When I shoot, this ward over here. The ward will run out soon anyway. If I place a ward in try though, that's probably gonna be useless. Very unlikely we get ganked from there without seeing any seeing it through any of the other vision we have. Damn it. Oh, okay, my Q did go off in time. Perfect. Okay, I've got Ghost up again, by the way. Ooh, Brand is here, though. Nice. Oh, what? How did that hit me? What? I thought I dodged it. What? That's rough. A lot of damage there. Just barely managed to avoid that. Oh, hello, Kane. Need to avoid stepping onto those traps. Jesus, that could have been a really bad gank for us if I hadn't chosen to place a ward in there, because I wanted to go aggressive on them. Damn it, I thought they would try and punish that harder. My bad. Okay, Brand was walking forwards for no reason. Oh, hello, Kane. My bad, I should have forced on him. He should be killable here easily, though, anyway. There we go. Ziggs might be on the way. Hello. Damn it, he's already here. Fuck, I'm probably dead now. Damn it. No, if I dodged that, I would have killed him. Maybe. Oh well. Uh, we can pick up the Swifties. Hopefully my team does something here. I swear each performance is the last, but I yeah, I could have wasted a lot more of Ziggs' time there if he hadn't just immediately already been here the moment I placed that trap. The idea was that I would see if he was coming. Leave that wave, leave that wave, leave that wave. 
I would see if he was coming and then I could just retreat. Instead, he was just immediately in range to already start hitting me with autos, with Qs, with W. There was no time to stall at all. And nowhere to like hide into vision so I could actually fight back. Instead, he had the first hit advantage. While I was already lower HP to begin with as well. Oh god, I should have brought this gun in there. Nice. She snared. What is she doing with those traps? Those don't do anything to me. <laughs> okay, nice. We did a lot of damage there. Okay, I guess I, I forgot to mention in the previous game where I talked about getting a free ultimate hit with your W. It actually does depend on uh, the points in W as well that you have because you get more root duration. That one was actually... Potentially missable, it was just easier to land thanks to the root. If I'm aimed it like slightly wrong though, she would have had a chance to move out of the way. And if she'd been further away, she also would have had more time to move. I suppose a max rank, a max rank of W, even if they are really far away from the ultimate, they probably still do get a free hit. Just depends on how many points in W you have. Can't really fourth shot here. The Sun is the one that should be pressuring better on the turret here, but she's not doing much. I think I'll just shovel on my wave and base. Especially if the next wave is a cannon wave. It is. Perfect timing. Actually, I would have just waited until the next wave was a cannon wave. It's the best time to base. And I have no reason to wait. Oh. Mm. I got old soon, but... Yeah, nah. Brand would block some shots. We'll just base. And rush into lane ASAP, so hopefully... We can prevent them crashing that wave. This performance needs more zazz. Okay, and if they're not crashing this wave, then basically we both have... We're basing on, like, on the same wave in the same wave state. But we're still advantaged because we got the base first. We're gonna miss Miss Farmer, we're gonna get Pryo when we get into lane here. <clears throat> ah, fuck me. It's gonna be a free plating for me, and solo plating at that. Maybe we can do something to brand here. Oh, hello. Ooh, I just barely didn't get the kill for myself. Come on, get this pink. I'll pop ghost just in case. Oh, I didn't get the kill, are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Would have been so much better on me than Zack anyway, but it will. That's fine. It's just a shame that I won't be able to use Ghost to try and kill Jinx now. But my thought process there for Ghost was that it meant that I would be able to run down Ziggs no matter what. Even if you managed to dodge every skill shot, we would still get him with Ghost. But for that to work, we need to do it before he starts dodging every skill shot, potentially. If we wait until he's dodged it all, then we no longer have time to chase him down. We need to do it ASAP before we evaluate whether he actually does manage to outplay or not. I will not this ugliness. But I thought there would be guaranteed value and that I would be able to just walk up to him and get the last hit. Only he got burst down so hard by Zack. I'll probably just base now anyway. I must 
I don't have ult. We don't have too much to pressure with. Suppose we could dive though if Senna actually. Yeah, doesn't do much. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. Okay, I guess I can just base on a cannon wave then. Just next wave a cannon wave. I could use either wave clear now, but I'd rather just save it for Q. Because Q actually does a lot more wave clear now. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Next wave was a kind of wave, but we're staying for now. <sighs> Fucking Zix is here already. I want to try and cover the Zack there. Now I need to retreat. Kane is mid. Nice one. Okay, cool. Huh. We actually don't have to shove in this wave. Because Zack was tanking it for so long that it delayed... Uh, it allowed our turret, our wave to go under turret, which actually creates a slow push towards us, which is so nice. And my recall doesn't get cancelled. Perfect. Now to crash this, you have to shove yet another wave here. So the gun makes it so I, do. I just missed minimal farm. Despite not having based on the cannon wave. Problem is though, now I need to be soaking up this wave under turret, so I can't really go to ro to uh, contest this Drake. That would be a lot of harm to give up. Okay, I can rotate now. <coughs> oh, we just go on Jinx, I guess. She's overstepped here. Nice one. You see her looking at me with malicious intent. Oh, dude, that was a misclick. I meant to press <laughs> T. That's where I have attack move bound to. Oh, that's awkward. Grant should be dead here. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it, she got the kill. And <laughs> she died for it. Oh, well. Is there a king coming for me? I hope not. W is terrible for fucking comet. He just pushed me out of the comet. Okay, Jinx. Um, I'll do zeal. Art requires a certain cruelty. So we currently have 425 movement speed without any fucking movement speed amplifiers from like Phantom Dancer passive or my passive when I crit. It's really nice. Let's pop Ghost here so we can just run her down. Her best shot was trying to run into the turret, but she was probably screwed either way. Nice one. Gonna have to use a reload for this. Damn it. Uh, I may as well stick around for 50 more gold. Maybe I can just get the grump. Ow. Hopefully I can time my first shot to secure the last hit, but we can just block the Jinx W. Oh. Gotta run from Kane though. Oh god damn it. We flash away before he can ult me. Okay, at least I live. Well, we didn't actually farm 50 gold, but we waited until we had 50 gold. We wasted time until we had 50 gold. Awesome.
I guess we can just go on Jinx here. Dead. Perfect. Get out of here. <laughs> Killing him off the blast gun but having to knock himself up in the process. Funny. Oh, this cane is 0 and 7. Maybe I didn't need to flash away from them. I only just noticed. Didn't get the kill on Ziggs, but we do just do a ton of damage onto Brand. I think I can just get this right down. Nice one! Yeah, I should rotate on Jinx now, I think. I have Blue Trinket and W to cancel our base. She won't get away with this. Cancelled. Could have dodged that, my bad. Oh, she might actually win that. We need to back off after this fourth shot. Just kite her out until we actually have all the attacks available again. There we go. Not for that heal, we would have killed her with the fourth shot. But instead, we have to play it smart. Yeah, I can base already. I got a zeal on the dagger. I just saw this Morikazu cancel like two autos in 0.5 seconds. I can do Raptors while I'm waiting for a middle and wave to come into me. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. <coughs> Jinx might be greeting towards mid here. Yep, greeting or pathing. Oh, we almost made it past the traps. Hang on. We get move speed from this, so she's still dead. Eventually. Probably. Oh. Okay. I'm probably dead here. I don't have enough room to kite around here, I don't think. Yep. Nope. Oh. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> Unfortunate for Morikazu to be there. I never had vision on him that I noticed. There's nowhere here that I can see. We see the Ziggs, but we don't care about Ziggs. Didn't see him anywhere there. He's just, oh, he just randomly popped up right before I used R. I have no idea where he came from though. He must have like not appeared on vision through here and just path like all the way through mid like that. Bit of awkward that we didn't see that, but well, shit happens. I can't live without the euphoria of performance. I think Kane is gonna be going for our golems and then for our red buff. Should be easy enough to kill him. Oh, especially with that HP. Let's pop go, see if we can make it. Come on. Ah, he's gonna fucking escape with this blast gun. That sucks. I get nervous before Maybe Rise can get him. Still got Ghost active for now? Oh, he's just greeting for the pink. Never mind. Now we can get the red buff. Thank you, Kane. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh damn, this Mordekaiser just got two big shutdowns back to back. 850 on me, then 900 on Zach. Girl's pissed about that. He actually straight up has a lead over her now when he was losing lane before. He only died once to her though, so... I mean, she can't complain too much. Even as a lead, uh, CS lead over her. Would be risky to gank Mordekaiser because he can always just ult me again. We wouldn't be in quite such a bad spot this time, but... We can avoid him getting into melee range of us. Oh, hello. Come on. Ah, he's the one I really want to hit. Hello, Jinx. Ah, damn it. I should have flashed away the moment I hit J uh, Ziggs lost. My bad. Yeah, I was a little bit overextended here, wasn't I? Anyway, nice one, Jinx dies too. Also quite overextended. You de if you have a Jinx here, you definitely can't afford to be farming in the middle of the wave. Because look at how much map control. We, we got the turret here, we got the turret... No, we don't have the turret there, but we have the turret here, we have the turret here. They have, like, very limited control over the map because we have still Elvarada turrets. So we can afford to push really far into their jungle. Uh, I think I'll actually do Bloodthirster here. <laughs> so as Jinx, you pretty much have to wait for these midland waves to be pushed into you here, where you can safely farm them. You can't be venturing out into the middle of the map, where the enemies know they can safely venture without ever running into trouble. And there's no, no nearby turret for Jinx to retreat into either. I'm just gonna get this wave, then we help with the Drake. It's the whole wave dead. Yeah, we'll do Bloodthirster here because their comp is actually very damage focused. I think uh, getting more survivability in the form of Bloodthirster will be better for winning this game than just getting extra damage from Infinite Edge. Nice one. Ooh, and we got Cloud Soul now. I'm gonna move really fast. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we're getting flanked. We get the movement speed. Nice one. Ow! I really should have avoided that. I think I might be dead now. Maybe. I need to hit him. Fuck! No, I needed to hit him! Well, if I'd hit him, I would have just healed off of uh, Fleet Forward and I would have lived. But you see what I mean? Like, we could have killed Brand slightly sooner, but it doesn't necessarily mean we wouldn't have gotten, gotten hit by the same amount of damage. A lot of the time where we're hitting the opponents, we're also going to be getting hit back because of the nature of their champions. Kane can easily, like, try and one-shot me whenever, whenever I'm not attack range of him. Ziggs is ranged, he can hit me back. Jinx is ranged, he can hit me back. Brand is ranged, he can hit me back. Individually, maybe a lot of those wouldn't matter so much. But when you add them all together, I'm just going to be taking a lot of damage while I'm going aggressive. So we want to use Bloodthirster to just maintain our HP bar high at all times, so we can continue going aggressive. Instead of dropping that down to low HP and having to play safe. That's very nice for Jinx that she just got two turrets there. Or, I assume she got the other bottling turret. Oh, damn. My bad, if I'd used W sooner, I might have saved her. Nice, Jinx just got a lot of gold for herself. That's really good. For her, not for us so much. Place a trap there, so we have vision there. And a trap here. Okay, they're top side. Ooh. Okay, he got hit by the trap at least. Hello. We pop ghost here. He's gonna ult me. Hopefully that shot hit him. Don't know if it did or didn't. 
Okay, should be dead there. Oh, barely not. This time we flash instantly. Ah, oh, damn it. And we're just cut into a corner. No. Oh. Damn it. Okay, at least my team gets a free burn off of that. <laughs> they had to chase me so far to kill me there, man. It wasn't necessarily smart to do, even if it was a... F well, I say free kill. Not exactly free if you give up a Baron for it. Easily worth it for us. We'll solve the Drone's Blade so we can finish this blood just a little bit faster. We'll refund it if we happen to end up on 180 gold from objectives, but I doubt it. Maybe with this Fiora getting this turret. I'm not sure how much global gold you get. It's like 100, right? Actually, maybe I can. Oh, it only gives like 50. What? I don't think it's worth waiting. 50 gold. Or 40 gold, whatever it was. Could have picked up some pinks here, actually, but too late. Damn it. Nice one. Hmm, that's... Is that all of our burn buffs down? It is. That's a big waste. Okay, not bad. <sighs> nice try. At least I'll get an inhib. Thanks to the efforts my teammates made with their burn buffs. It's not completely wasted. Nope. I need to focus Kane here, because he's the one that would dive on me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead now. Oh, my... My flood shard just disappeared. What the hell? Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, well, my bad. I just stepped far too forwards onto Mordekaiser. Um... It would be nice to get QSS, but we're not going to have room for it. Definitely played that poorly, though. I think I could have killed Kane. But yeah, here, Brand has already done all of his burst. Kane is the only one that can actually just keep on going on to us, so we need to focus him. Even if we have the option of going on to Brand or Kane. Oh, no, I couldn't have killed Kane. No, I should. I just straight up made a mistake just overextending here onto the Mordekaiser E range. I could have kept on trying to kite Mordekaiser, though. I think I can actually kite. So long as I play around my um, fire cannon, only auto attacking during fire cannon procs, I could definitely kite Mordekaiser. Without getting into his ultimate range. That's what I should have been focusing on. I didn't have a fire cannon proc there, and that's why I got punished. Even without getting ulted, he just hit me with the E. Nice one. We might be able to just help your own kill them all. Yep. We'll pop Ghost here and we'll kill Ziggs. Absolutely free kill there. Oh. Soon. There we go. I shouldn't have wasted my full but it doesn't matter too much. There we go. I'm just done now. In the end, I mean, we would have had probably the same exact same outcome whether we went Bloodfist or Infinity Edge. We didn't get to properly test out the theory, because every time I really got into action, I just got fucked by Mordekaiser ult anyway. Whether I go Bloodfist or Infinity Edge, I'm always going to get screwed by Mordekaiser ult. To my credit, though, I never ended up dying to anything that wasn't Mordekaiser ult, I think. So maybe the Bloodfist worked in that regard. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jint Diamond. Enemy team gonna be starting off with an invade. Looks like we'll all be okay here. Gonna be running cleanse this game, mainly because of the Nasus. 
So, oh, hello. I was scratching my head. Thought they were done with their invade. Oh god, hello. Jesus, what the hell is he chasing for? Okay, Nessus's flash. No longer. Got him. Hopefully I live here. Oh no. Well, that's just unfortunate. Okay, we got another kill. No assist for me though. Oh no, Skys is gonna clean up here. She has way more DPS than anybody else left in that fight. This is the quite unfortunate part of... Uh... Wait, didn't that assist... Just... Did Nessus TP back? Or nice, nah, just returned, I guess. Ooh, that is rough. A triple kill for Kaisa starting off the lane. And unfortunately, we focused a lot of people throughout that fight, but Kaisa was never the one out of position. So she just ends up high HP when everybody else is low, and she just gets to clean up that fight. Sadly. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I should have done that in hindsight. I thought I would just be able to escape. Didn't quite turn out that way. That's a bad trade for Kaisa. Hasn't had a chance to spend her gold yet, mind. So, she should not be trying to go aggressive, she should be trying to base. And I should be trying to prevent that base by freezing this. It's kind of risky though. Okay, nice. At least I can make her base a little bit worse. I w ideally, I would like her to get baited into staying, so hopefully we can get that shut down before she even has a chance to spend the gold. She won't do that though, but in the meantime, this means I get a lot of time to just regen HP while I'm sitting on this freeze. How can I be expected to work? No poet's words could match my. Okay, so she missed more than an entire wave for that freeze. That's really nice. That was worth giving up half my HP for. Since crashing that to make her miss from that way was obviously not going to be an option there with my early wave clear. Can't Toto, man. Because I tried to auto right as a minion died, and that makes my auto bug out for some reason, even though I never autoed. I mean, to hit Kaisa there. Okay, I should probably base here. has too much of a item advantage at the moment. We don't want to wait for all of our HP here. We can just try and get into lane faster to miss less farm. In the meantime, our HP regen will do a lot. Oh. Damn. How did she get dive there? Was she low as well? Oh yeah, she was. She should have based as well. That is extremely greedy of her. What the hell? Should have pinged her at the base, my bad. I didn't notice. Yeah, that sucks. She should she shouldn't have gained an advantage there. Be basically, what should have happened here is that I ended up with a small CS lead thanks to my freeze. I lost some more CS under turret there, but at the very least, overall, it wouldn't have made up for how much CS she missed when I froze the wave. But instead of getting out of there with like a small closing of the gap, she just ends up getting a bigger, even bigger lead just because Lulu died. It's very annoying. Um, there's not much point basing. Hopefully she's not just flanking us. Nope. Probably should have fourth shot Kaisa there though. Would pro rather prioritize poking her while she slowed. What the hell? Anyway, this is going to be a rough matchup overall, given that we're already behind. 
And the fact that Lulu has no synergy with Jin whatsoever. Ideally, we'd like have to have some engage to deal with this bot lane, but instead we don't really have a response for Vol because he could be poking us from a set of a range. And a reward for managing to close the gap onto him is we ha get fucking dunked on by Kaisa, who's already got a massive lead, so... I'm foreseeing a very rough laning phase where hopefully we just end up getting carried by our team if we manage to survive this lane without giving up too much more of a lead. It's not looking good so far in that regard. Here, uh... Already 0 and 1. Not to our lane opponent, I guess. Though. It might have been from the level 1, I'm not sure. Can just get a free W on her there, free poke, even if it's not a root. I'd rather save my Qs actually for Kai'Sa, I don't want to Q Vel'Koz there. Perfect. Because we saved that Q for Kai'Sa instead of Qing Vel'Koz when we had the chance, makes it such a better trade onto Kai'Sa. I just realized that I don't want to waste mana just trading onto Vel'Koz when that damage won't be too relevant because we can't engage onto him anyway. Kai'Sa's the one who actually has to be in our range to deal damage. Damn it, need to flash away. I'm probably dead though. Sad. Okay, at least we get the one for one on Vel'Koz. Lulu should be fine here. If she just doesn't try to trade back, because this never results in a good outcome for us. Okay, she might actually bait the Kai'Sa. She's got shield, but I wouldn't risk it. Kai'Sa could probably just get... Yep. <laughs> okay, at least this is a one for one, but that gives nothing to me, so that's really unideal. Because Kai'Sa just gets 300 more gold towards the carry. Although, at least it was a shutdown, honestly. Given that it, was, that it was a shutdown, that actually is worth it, I would say. Even if it is just gold for Lulu and not for any of our carries. Yeah, she actually gets Mythic off of that, not bad. At least we're not behind in farm. I pull their strings, and then they dance. Yeah, I should have just flashed the Valkyrie's knockup. I was hoping my fourth shot movement speed would be enough to get out of there, but no such luck. And it was a good response from Kaisa to then flash onto me while I was knocked up and press me down while I couldn't flash away. Got a lot more movement speed now. Makes it easier to dodge the vocal skill shots. I should have tried the W here there actually and then ult if it landed. The lower HP we can gather, the easier the lane becomes. Okay. Ow. Dude, ah, missed the Q. Okay, we just walk away. She just wasted her ultimate, not bad. Ah, damn it, I was about to use ult. Okay, here we go. I was about to use W ult. <laughs> oh, what? I just clicked T! My bad! What? I just accidentally attack moved while I was throwing our shots. What? Twice today in this video that I've... Uh... Had a mishap with my R and T. <laughs> Usually it doesn't happen to me despite the close placements. Not bad, not bad. Still, we've actually managed to start getting an advantage now. Maybe it's thanks to Lulu having the Mythic. Or maybe it's because I actually have items now. Ooh, Kai'Sa. Oh, I could have Valka's there, but it would probably involve missing the cannon, which I'd rather not risk. Given it wouldn't be a kill on him. Just potentially setting up a kill later, but not guaranteed. Now that's really good, though. <laughs> this mini block, I can't get onto him. 
Okay, we want to play some vision. We don't want to... Mm. Immediately die now that we finally have a lead. Yeah. I might die here because I didn't fully back off there. Oh, I'm so lucky. Nice one. Based off of Valka's movements, it really made me hesitate. I felt like Nessus, or rather Hecker, I'm sorry, might have been in the area. I don't know how close that recall is to finishing, but let's cancel it. Oh, this is so awkward. We want to go aggressive, but we know Hecarim is in the area. Okay, our jungler is now coming bot side. Is he dead to that? So close. Now he is. Holy shit. And we canceled the Kaisa base again. I don't have mana to do it again with W, though. Okay, Hecarim is here. We know he has an ult. Nice. We're just baiting Kaisa into staying. Or more specifically, this time Hecarim did. If I can get a level up, I would have mana for ult. Nice one. I just want to keep cancelling it. In fact, if Lilia could show up here, we could easily dive. Come on, Lilia. Okay, I don't have time to type to her that I'm trying to communicate this to her. She doesn't have mana. She's dead. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Could try and get him, but Belka's ult is a little bit threatening. I got him! Holy crap, that was such a long shot. I was hoping, because he was moving around this, and I was just flatly standing behind Velkos. There was a chance he would slightly peek out, and I tried to time it just right. Just barely managed it, holy crap. A little bit lucky, but also fairly decent play. Alright, let's uh, crash this. Now Lilia comes, goddamn. Now that she can tax my wave. It's all good, though. We got the crash, perfect. Oh, we're in such a better spot now. No worries, Lulu. Oh, not girl for us. That's a habit I need to drop. Oh. Got her. Kill does not go to me though, but okay. Well, no kills for me there, but still a really good, really good fight. They've completely lost control of the lane now. We actually officially have the lead. Is a warm I'll just be threatening here. Hmm. I could afford to go really aggressive there because I'd cleanse, so if I got hit by Lux Kill, it wasn't the end of the world, but. Sadly, not able to kill Hakram. God damn it. Okay, she didn't even clear my ward. Weird. We should probably do this. Nice one, I got it. We want to go on Kaisa here? Hecarim is trapped here. Oh, what? My team is retreating. I think we should keep fighting there. Okay, nice one, Fiora. Kill goes to me. We want to focus Kaisa here. Not Valkyrie, sorry. Ah, uh, badly angled ultimate. We'll throw one shot, then just leave. We can flash over this wall. Ah, damn it. Okay, she goes down. Time this fourth shot for the last hit on Valkyrie. There we go. Nasus is here. We have W or cleanse if we want to get rid of his W. We should be able to get him here. The team pull is up. I can bait. You want to expect me to cleanse his W? We still want to delay his W actually getting on me though, if possible. Yeah, he's dead here. Perfect. And Lily lives too. That's so huge. Lux has no mana. She's not a threat. Well, not much of a threat. Suppose she could QR if she has R up, but I imagine it's down. Either way, I got Cleanser, so she's no threat to me. I should be able to get Phantom Dancer now when I base. Okay, we won't bother hitting that turret. We just want to base, spend our gold. Holy crap, I can't believe we actually got a lead over this Kai'Sa in lane after how that started. 
This actually did become... I did not really account for how... Uh, well, Lulu apparently skills in this lane because she eventually just made it so it takes very little damage with those shields. I could actually afford to go really aggressive while we were still behind and not take too much damage as long as I dodged the Volcal skill shots. That was a big turning point, especially uh, especially we probably hit that point sooner than we should have because of Kaisa making that dive where Lulu got like 800 gold or whatever it was. Okay, Hecarim is topside. Everyone wears a mask. I just chose to create my own. Ow. Come on. Oh, I missed the counter for that. Damn. Okay, they're pretty low. Back them into a corner here. Yep. That's fine. Did a lot of damage with that ult. It doesn't need to kill anybody to be useful. Is he dead here? Yes. Now Kaisa might die as well. We need to use Force Revenant the turret for some movement speed. Come on. Come on. She's dead. If she doesn't have heal. There we go. Mm, yeah, let's just path around just in case. I don't expect to get collapsed on, but I don't have full information here. Okay, now I do. They're all mid. Ooh, what's going on there? I think we get this turret on base. Hopefully they shouldn't be able to get this turret if I don't base immediately. Ooh, we want to actually flank. I think. We're not going to get home guards if we base anyway, so we may as well approach them from behind where hopefully... Ooh, Galula isn't coming with me. Then I can't flank. I could maybe get Hecarim. Oh, Got him. Nice one. That was very... F I was going to say, I could maybe get Hecarim if he happens to walk into me, but I wasn't expecting it to happen. I got Cleanse here so I can afford to risk running into Nessus. Probably wouldn't kill him and it would probably be a waste of Cleanse, but at least I get here a lot faster than pathing around. Hopefully we got this turret. Oh yeah, that should be easily doable with the Zig's W. Oh no, he did it too early. Can we win that trade with just one auto? <laughs> Ooh. It's good. Oh. Well, that was an extremely necessary death. I don't see how I don't I didn't see how it happened, but I know that he should have been able to retreat based off of the last time I saw him. I can base here. It's a kind of wave. It'll it'll take a while to die. I think we can just go ahead and do far cannon here. Definitely a game where we do infinity edge third though instead of uh, fourth. Sorry, instead of bloodthirster though, because we get the mostly free hit the Nessus and the Hecarim. There was not much free hitting happened in the previous game. I'll just pull it into the brush where they don't have vision. Ah, oh, dude, something massively chunked it. Must maybe the Luxie. Massively chunked it right before the Lux ult hit. Oh, hang on. Might need to deal with this Nessus. Blue Trinket just to make sure we're not face checking into someone. Trap in here for the same reason. He might know that I'm here. Oh god. What is it? Oh, I didn't even notice I got hit by Nessus W. My bad. All good though. If I'd known, I would have cleansed it. 
in advance so I could uh, play more aggressively there, but in hindsight it worked out just the same as if I hadn't. As if I had, sorry. Uh, who else was around? Hopefully not Tychrum. Anybody else I can just run from. <laughs> oh god. He's so fast, man. God damn. Oh well. <laughs> Jesus. I felt like he was coming at me with Yomas as well, actually. He had a huge movement speed boost before he even hit me with phase rush. Mm, I didn't realize that it fully fell at the Hecarim, though. Maybe going for an earlier Bloodthirster would have been better, but I don't want to do it over Infinity Edge. So basically, I'm, I'm thinking I should have maybe done Infinity Edge third so I could do Bloodthirster fourth. Now, because I want to do Infinity Edge before Bloodthirster, I'm going to be able to only build Bloodthirster as final item at the earliest. Ziggs needs to stop dying for no reason. I don't know why he ever should have been there. Hello. Eventually, I'll catch her. Maybe I can still get her? She doesn't have ult. Hopefully, this time we get a turret. Uh -huh. Nice one. And thank you, Lola, for thanking this. At least I think much less turret damage. Okay, he should have gone on me. This is a huge fuck up. He will he will kill Lulu, but then he'll die to me. Hopefully, there we go. Got him easily. When this guy's a solo. Ooh, she's retreating here. What? Where's she? Oh, <laughs> the last shot caught her. Jesus, when I had no idea where she was. What? I don't know how the first shot didn't get vision of her then. Weird. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Drake is up in 30 seconds. I really want to spend my gold. Do I have infinite edge? I don't. I could get Scuttle. Either that or I sell Durant's Blade. I would rather get Scuttle, but at the same time, I'm wasting time where the Drake is spawning and I need the base ASAP. No, I need this. <laughs> I've already committed to taking Scuttle. Instead of selling Dorn's Blade, so I have to finish it. Oof, if he cancelled my base there, that would have been so terrible. Mmm, Lulu should not be top. Fuck, we may just be giving up the trick. Yeah, everybody's topside, we have to give it up. That's sad. Maybe we can Nasus here at least. Just keep hitting minions so I get movement speed. And we can hit the ward, too. Damn. Sad. Mm, we could try it, honestly. It might work out. What is up with this, Ziggs? We don't have time now. Alright, so maybe. We're doing this pretty fast, actually. Maybe we don't even give up the inhib, but we will give up the inhib turret. If we rush this down. This is so fucking risky though, if the enemy is actually see this coming. Lux just helped us finish this in time though. Now we can base. Oh, wow, they really want to force this. Let's get into a safer spot. My 
dead. I don't even need to flash. Unless... Ah! I lost vision! Okay. We got him. Nice one, Lulu. I don't have cleanse. We want to run from Nessus. Okay, he's wasted his W. Might be fine now. Should be fine, I think. He almost died there. Fuck. Uh, hopefully I survive here. No. Uh, oh. Did she have a... Did she only just throw out E or was it already there? Okay, she must have only exploded the E. I never saw her throw the E. Only her W. Or did she... Th did she throw it at the same time as her W? Oh... Uh. Yeah, she must have. Yeah, it was disguised by her W. Okay. Not bad. If I just aimed all the shots at her anyway, I might have actually killed her before she could kill me. Or tried a one for one. Still, this was not too bad though. Okay, we sell this. And get... I'd rather actually get Crick Cloak. It's very important. Or our mobility to just always crit. So at least this puts us at 95%. It's very unlikely we don't crit now. Oh. Out the one thing there. Maybe we get Kaiser here though. She's dead. She knows it. <laughs> Two shots, man. Um, okay, we cleanse that. Maybe we get Lux here now. Now that I've committed cleanse to this. Yep. Good shit. That was overall very risky, but paid off. Gotta wait for a wave though. That's inconvenient. Close one. I don't have a cleanse for this. All good. Got him. Can we get Hecram? We should be able to. Nice one, Lulu. We just stay in range, but... Oh! No, wait! Oh, dude! I keep missing autos. Okay. Ah, fuck me. My bad. I played that so bad. I kept uh, misclicking guys at one point. I lost a lot of DPS from that. Also, be able to actually get, uh, stay in range of the Hecram. While also trying to kite him and make sure I wasn't in Q auto range. Okay, not bad though. With Bloodthruster, this will now become a lot easier to do as well. I won't be quite so low every time I make sli a slight fuck up. Okay, we're full bold. Do with getting the streak for sure. I run my W through this wave to kill it faster. Don't care too much about the lost hits. Oh, I just killed two casters though. Alright, we got some XP there too. Got a level 16. Okay, we have a jungler with us. Just might. I'll also save my fourth shot for this. Got it. Holy crap, that was a close one though. I didn't time that perfect, I don't think. This is a little bit risky to go for. Who did he W? It wasn't me, was it? No, whoever he did, he was trolling. He can only use W on me. Okay, we did a lot of damage to him with that. 
Okay, Baron is up in 45. Can I get Lux here? Oh, dude. What the hell? How did that reach so far? Okay, she delayed her combo far too much, though. That's fine. This is really bad for them. Really bad if I don't get hit by Lux Q here. Hang on. Oh, didn't need to cleanse, my bad. Holy shit, Quadra, let's go. We should be able to end off of that. I could just tell in advance, like 10 seconds in advance, that I was going to chase them to the death. Not even Hecarim can escape me, man. Like, not even Hecarim with phase rush. It's just brutal. This <laughs> keeps messing up his W, it's kind of funny. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Jin to Diamond. Gonna be playing Jin Swain, a really good bot lane, and two Misfortune Leona. Gonna be running cleanse since it's pretty mandatory against Leona. Gonna be starting off trying to cheese the enemy bot lane as they get into lane. We're gonna want to use the Swainy on Misfortune, and if it lands, then I actually I think I'll level W. Follow it up. Okay, they're actually not gonna stand in a good spot for us to do that, so... We'll just level the Q and... Let off the trap, because I'd rather not miss three melees, just to... Probably not actually get the cheese off. Okay, she's gonna go for this lost head, so we walk up to her. And again. Probably should have used that fourth shot on Leon actually. She would have been in range. Guess we're playing against Rengar, and he started blue for some reason, so he's not gonna be ganking us for a while. We know the enemy bot unleashed, or at least it's very likely. We got misfortune here. Can't quite finish her off, but we did a decent amount of damage there. Ooh, should have got the cannon here. Okay, nice. Yeah, you need to really plan ahead with the cannons. You can't just uh Lost hit them really short notice, if you're, uh, lost hitting something before it. Should've W'd her, actually. Okay, nice. Mm, shame about no swing ignite, that would've made for an easy kill. Okay, we got a level Q here, since we obviously don't have mana for Q and E, on top of W. Swain just needs to be playing way more aggressively, by the way. At this point, he has more HP than me and is still standing behind me. At this point, uh, they definitely have to be playing... Oh, he's not even level 3 yet, though. Ah, oh, fuck. Hang on. I'm probably dead here. Oh, is she dead too? Nice, she is. We'll just waste a bunch of Ringo's time. There we go. Does this guy live? He does. Still has Ignite. He could, like, he could actually silica Leona there, but, oh well. Okay, we got this, get the boots. Get potion. How did we even get ganked by... Oh, no, no, never mind. Wait. No, he has blue. How... What? Did they actually not leash? Leave this wave, leave this wave. <laughs> I should have pinged this sooner. It looked very tempted to keep my wave there. Yeah, he did start red. Huh, I'm confused, because it really looked like they had uh, just leashed. My bad. Everyone wears a mask. I just chose to create my own. This comes only the moment before I fire. Nice, nah, so we managed to get the caster and also hit misfortune with that. Uh shouldn't really need to place a ward and try. Definitely don't want to risk trying to freeze uh, too far up in the lane in case I get engaged on by Leona. But a freeze here just to keep the wave state in a bad spot for Misfortune is definitely smart. 
Even if she won't get ganked as punishment. At least we made her miss some farm since she was scared to walk up. Okay, now we have no vision over here. May as well place a ward and try. And also try and shove this wave out so we can place even more vision. Oh, that's why I ventured really far out. Um, right, so my idea was to shove first and then place vision. Oh my god, I actually just barely live here. I'm gonna recover HP very slowly though. Yeah, that's like so you want to shove out the wave then place vision, man. Because otherwise they get prior. You'd rather get prior and then place vision, so you get both prior and also some vision. Best of both worlds. It's very unlikely that after we had just been ganked by Rengar, that we would be getting ganked again within the next 20 seconds that it takes us to shove out the wave. So there was no point in leaving the lane and leaving me 1v2 just to uh, go place a ward that wasn't going to be immediately necessary. But my bad for not noticing him leaving though. At some point, I'm just going to have to base here since there's no recovering from that trade. Whoa, I could have had that coster. Okay, uh, if there's a cannon wave, then I think I can base here. Let's hope so. Especially if Misfortune doesn't realize that I'm basing here and just doesn't push this fast enough. Nice, so she's very distracted right now. She's not shoving. Hopefully she doesn't randomly kill Swain there with Leona's help. Uh, can I wait for a potion? I may as well. I'm waiting for some HP anyway. They're starting to shove now, though. They shoved their overall pretty fast. But I should arrive there in time for, I hope, most of that. Maybe even the cannon if I'm lucky with my W. Maybe not. I think I'm just barely not going to be in time. Yeah, sadly. And that, I think with that awkward amount of HP, I wouldn't have hit it anyway, though. Or, I mean, I, I would have hit it, obviously, but I would not have lost hit it. Okay. I want to try and interrupt Misfortune's base. Perfect. Okay, I'll use my ultimate to shove out this wave faster. Now that I've interrupted her base, she's definitely never going to reach this wave in time. The last hit it. I cost her more farm by going out to cancel her base than I did... Uh, than I cost myself by venturing out to do it. Since most of the CS that was under turret I was going to miss anyway. Ideally, Swain would have stayed in lane so we could actually pressure a kill on her and he could do that while I was... Uh... Lost it with myself, but since he left, we just have to do it ourselves. Now we can shove this wave out and then place ward. Not before, Swain. There we go. Running out of mana now, sadly. But we'll do what we can with what we have. Wanna definitely get rid of that, and I'll place just a run of trap in the middle of the river as well, so I can see if Rengar's coming from there. I think that should give me vision. Gonna have to play on the back foot though. Currently, Leona's level six. Misfortune should be six soon. I am six, but I don't have ult, and either way, it's not good in melee fights or close range fights. And Swain is level four, so not hitting six for quite a while. So we're gonna have to play on the back foot. At least we got a thirty. Well. Not quite 30, but decent CS lead over Misfortune. About 24, 25. Even more once they get this wave. Didn't want to risk going for the Q as well there, since Leona would be moving into range. I could try and shove this wave out. Okay. Well, yeah, Misfortune is not really in position here. 
We got Kane around. That's why I wasn't really interested in full running away. Oh, let's try and get the misfortune here. That's a Jace gank. Rengar's on the way as well. Oh, man. Okay, that's a lot of people just to get Rengar, though. Or just to get Swain. Ooh, did that Rengar just flash? I believe he did. Nearly got W. But I can't reach Misfortune for it, so we're gonna have to go for Rengar. That's gonna be the kill. Huge. Don't have any mana right now. Oh my god, we keep baiting flashes. Okay. I have to flash that one. Jesus. I can maybe kill this chase? No way! How did that not kill? That hit him. What? I was gonna say, he might be in that brush. Fuck, I should have been moving into position. No. Ooh, okay, nice, and I got the assist. We wanna go into Misfortune here? Okay, can't finish her off, sadly. But Leona was definitely not gonna die there, whereas Misfortune was positioning to try and kill Syndra. So we either have to kill Misfortune for trying to kill Syndra, or force her... I should have let Syndra die. Or... What was I saying? Uh... Just cost me a cannon, man. I just saved her life. Yeah, we got an, a misfortune there, so either she dies while she's trying to go on Syndra, and possibly dies before she even finishes off Syndra. Or... Uh... What's the alternative? Or misfortune just straight up has to back off because she sees me approaching her. And therefore is not able to finish off Syndra. Either way, it prevent, it's, a, it's a good outcome. Prevents a bad one. At the very least. How can I be expected to work? So that looks in trouble. Oh my god, that damage though. He almost took them ringer. If only he had that ult. Okay, nice one, Syndra. This Syndra is actually very strong. Okay, we got 40 seconds left on our ult oh sorry on our cleanse. We probably don't want to be playing walking up too aggressively. I can try and bait out the Leon ult though. Cause I can dodge it pretty easily, but mainly when I got fleet will work up. Otherwise I don't want to overextend even for farm. Okay, we got cleanse up in nine. Well, that was that was way too far away for that to matter, man. Okay. Ideally, Leona would have been lower HP when I did that, so it would actually deal damage to her when she blocked the shots. Ow, what the fuck was that curve? Ringo might be around. Leona's posturing really aggressively without having ult up, which is suspicious. Yeah, there's Rengar. Pretty far away, though. Might have been unrelated to Leona's movements. Still feel like Rengar's gonna be around. Jace is around, at least. That's nice, I was about to place my ward there. Yeah, we could try and do this trick. Here we got Syndra on the way. Oh. Rengar? <laughs> Sheesh. Two kills for me. Three kills for me, my lord. Let's go. That's GG. I that was 1-1-1. One, one, and one. No, sorry. 1-1-2. One, one, and two. Now I'm 4, 1, and 3. Or something like that. Good shit.
started off looking like a risky fight to take. I didn't feel like I could position anywhere to deal damage, but then Rengar just randomly overextended. Got blown up by Syndra. And it's just free... Like, uh, smooth sailing from there. Oh, damn it. Don't have mana for ult even if I had it up. <coughs> Alright, let's base and spend my gold. Match Misfortune's items. They might have vision here? No, oh, okay. I thought Leona was walking towards me. Whoa, that's a hard steel Vlad. That is not good. I'm pretty sure, at least. I'll look up his win rate just to fact check myself, but pretty sure it's terrible. Yep, 40% win rate. 10% lower than AP Vlad. Not viable in the slightest. So Vlad's passive is that he converts AP into HP and HP into AP, which makes it sound like HP should be a decent stat on him. And it is, like, it's it's nice to pick up AP, uh, HP alongside your AP items to get a little bit more AP in the process. But the conversion ratio from AP to HP is much, much greater than the conversion ratio from HP to AP. Especially given Vlad's AP scalings. You would much rather build some AP, or like, full AP and just have some HP alongside it to build full HP and just end up with pitiful AP and be completely ignorable. Oh, hello. We can't safely fight here given the turret. I'll just focus misfortune here. Mm. Damn it. No. <laughs> Why is Vlad or Rengar here too now? Damn it. That sucks. What could I have done better there? Maybe turn on Misfortune sooner? It was a pretty fucky situation to begin with, though. I could have definitely turned on to Vlad sooner here. I didn't notice them both flashing through the wall. Then I saw Leona flashing through the wall and I was like, nope, can't walk there. Yeah, well, I should have definitely turned on Misfortune sooner, for sure. Once I saw her walking up past the turret on that HP, she's easily burstable. I needed to abuse that and get her out of the fight sooner. Okay, nice one. Can't really kill her there. I won't bother using ult because it might be better to recall. When actually if I just keep her in lane, keep her desperate to loss hit these minions, she might actually make a mistake that's actually killable. Like here she is very clearly greeting. Ooh, but if I'd hit that, hang on. It's gonna have to be with the ult. Got her. She had to step around the Swain W, so that was just really easy to aim. First two that hit though, that was just kind of lucky that she didn't dodge them. Without those, that could would not have happened. Should place a trap there. Yeah, and it's like I said, like I could have used my ultimate to shove her out of lane sooner, especially if I landed everything. But if I did that, she would have been so low, because obviously I wasn't going to kill her with that. It would, would have just been about harassing her. Uh, she would have ended up so low that she would realize, oh, I'm killable here, let's recall. Instead, she just greets trying to get that farm. I think she even tried to trade with me for some reason, even though she was really down in items. <coughs> and then we just kill her off of that. In high low though, where I know the misfortune wouldn't make that mistake, I actually would have just gone for the harassment. Shoving her out of lane isn't like necessarily the big greatest outcome you can get if you're trying to carry a game, but it would probably be the best outcome I could hope to get in that situation in high elo. But in low elo, you can count on your uh, opponents making mistakes like that, and you just have to play around it. 
You know, people ask me, like, how do I carry when my teammates are just doing the most obscenely dumb shit? You know, like, the enemies are doing the same. Just punish it. If you can punish the enemy's mistakes, you will carry. That's how you carry. Should've queued sooner, but whatever. All good. Got him. Oof. But not the kill. Let's get out of here. Okay, so he's not full uh, H or tank Vladimir, at least. He just really wants some HP. Considering he's got two stacking HP mechanics. Rasp and Heart Steel. Let's get this red buff. On the way to Drake. And if we if there happens to be a fight, then we just ignore the red buff. Yeah, it's we're probably gonna need to go here. Just play it safe, help our team. I guess we we'll focus Leona here because she's squishier and easier to kill. Vlad doesn't completely ignorable now that he's got demonic, but he's also not like I don't have to worry about getting one shot by him at least. Got her. Just can't escape me. Now I'm gonna get this wave. Screw the red buff. The moment we land one auto, all the rest will follow. We can just get in range for that one auto. Oh, that was unfortunate. The great part is, like, even if you don't even crit, at the very least, you still get the Phantom Dancer movement speed and the Fleet movement speed, which allows you to probably get in range for a second auto, and that second auto has a pretty decent chance of critting at this stage of the game. <clears throat> oh, I almost saved her with that. Do I have a Vlad ult on me? Oh no, now I do. We got out his super suck. Might have to ult them, catch them here. But I do have more movement speed, so I'm fine. You should have charged the Z there. You should have E W'd, not just W'd. Then I would have maybe had to flash away. I would have probably just limit tested it though, since I don't think he has that much damage with that build. The world is cruel. It have He's going for, well, some AP now, but even more HP mainly. Is that Rylize he's going for? That's terrible. Vlad already has a lot of slows with his E. I need fire cannon if I want to go aggressive there. And I don't have it, so let's recall for it. Can I stick it out? Oh, I was in a range, my bad. Kind of awkward, because now that W could have led to a kill. At least Leona's kind of low here, so even if she blocks all the shots, she'll take a lot of damage. Maybe even die. Ah, missed the last one. Oh well. Ooh, right between all of them. Oh, hello. No way. Ah, oh, damn it. Man. My bad. Oh, nice. Well, could have been better. Same as my flash forwards, which is barely the Nicole Rengar. Hmm. 
<laughs> Drake is up in a minute. Oh, how did we get that in here? That must have been minions that got it. Nice one. Oh, hello. God, how does that have that fully charged? Nice one. Okay, I had Q left as well if that didn't crit him. And to finish him off. Uh, I'll stick around until I got Infinity Edge. Now that I got red buff, I've got a lot of healing. Not to mention Fleet is healing a lot of camps at the moment as well. Oh, um, how did I miss that cannon? My bad. Actually, I can base now from Infinity Edge. But currently our fleet is healing... Actually, basically 200 per proc. That is crazy. Actually 200 now. More than. It's just such an amazing source of sustain. It's actually part of the reason why the Shin play style is so viable as well as you get so much fucking crazy healing from fleet because you move so fast that you charge it really fast since it charges off of movement. No other ADC would have this charge so quickly. <laughs> Except old Zeri. Rest in peace. I'd rather hit the J since he's a squish here. I got cleanse, remember? I don't have to be too afraid here. Okay, we cleansed that. Oh man, maybe I should have actually not cleansed it. Just let myself get engaged on by Leona, then cleanse. As soon as any sign of trouble starts. Nice one. And there's the surrender. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jinta Diamond. Pike, I think he's actually not invading, I think he just wanted to place a ward. Yeah, we can see at least some of his teammates up there, so I'm gonna walk up to him. I am at my best only during they might actually try and invade now. I don't know if they saw my team placing a ward or not. Nope, oh, they have a ward there. Mmm, that's not good. He should have immediately flashed out. No hesitation, man. I'll be fine. Let's start the show. Gonna start off lane with a small disadvantage, but oh, they're actually gonna go for a red buff. Is she going alone? I'll pop a potion here, but she she needs a leash. We can hopefully try and kill her. I need Nullis to step forward though. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. Actually, if she was gonna be getting help, I would not have bothered with this, but, uh... Yeah, that's just too free. Gonna miss XP, maybe, sadly. Ooh. No, I actually did not miss XP. Holy crap. Lucian made a big mistake just clearing those minions so fast. If he delayed his, like, the death of those three melees for a little bit longer, then I would... Have missed XP there. And we're definitely still going to be beaten to level 2, so going to play on the defensive right now. No, you don't want to hit the hook right as they're hitting level 2, buddy. I'll try and rush this down for level 2, but that's just not happening. Yikes. The desperation ignite. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Oh well. Is he gonna no kill so we just walk up and trade with him now? Ah, uh, oh, I got it. Nice. Oh, 
Oh yes, we got all of those. We'll level Q here since we're running low on mana. Actually, be a kill. Yeah, we got him. Nice one. Good shit. Maybe Nautilus has hook again soon? Nah, no worries. We'll shove this in. This is already a much better outcome than I expected. Ooh, this guy just does not turn it off. <laughs> we want a base now, buddy. Yeah, we'll just get pickaxe and refillable here. Five more ID than going double longsword. We still get the boots and the refillable. Okay, so Lucian might be in trouble here. Oh no no no! Okay okay. If I can if I can get a lane here. In fact, I think we could just immediately all in because I have such a big item advantage evolution right now. But what I'm going to try and do is just thin this out as hard as I can. Oh, this might be the last thing they wanted to do, actually. Goes just to kite the pike a little bit. Oh, we got him. Okay, we saved the fourth star for a while there because I think I was only going to be able to get one auto off anyway. Might as well save my 4th shot for when it does the maximum amount of damage. I would have also queued before the 4th shot, but I was worried I might lose vision during the... Um, uh, 4th... No, sorry, during the queue, and therefore not be able to land the 4th shot, because Pike might get out of range while in his W. So I just went for the 4th shot directly while I knew that I had vision for it. Ended up meaning that I maybe didn't get the kill when I could have otherwise maybe got it if I had used the Q. So assuming I would have been able to land the fourth shot, but felt it was better safe than sorry. Because one of my teammates was what much more likely to be able to pick up that kill after my fourth shot than if I only queued. I was also hoping my Q itself would just, or my fourth shot itself would just give me the kill, but obviously I didn't time that right. Yeah, Lucian just needed to try and get that shoved faster. He was not in a good spot there because we could just easily engage. Or at the very least... Well, I mean, Pike engaged that, but I think we should have been able to find an engage. At least if Nautilus was uh, willing to be on the same page as me. Okay, we'll just... Place that ward there for now. Oh my god, the fast on Lucian now. <laughs> and uh, once we've shoved this in, then I want to go play some vision, some proper vision. We want to clear the Blaskin at a minimum. If it's up, it should be up by now, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. It's down now. Could have actually ran down, ran by down. She could have got collapsed on by side as well, but oh well. Place a trinket there. I uh, can use this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Maybe we get him here. Holy crap! That CC chain. <laughs> nice one. I should have W'd actually my bad before I had a chance to go through the wall. Lucian is six here. I might be able to land another auto, so I'll just use the fourth shot early. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I've only had the fourth shot there. Oh well. Yep, now we can actually do this Drake. I was gonna say that I couldn't do the Drake because I needed to soak up that wave under turret, but... They stupidly engaged the fight even though we have the numbers advantage. So we can just go aggressive on them there, then shove the wave. 
Now we can do Drake and then base. I might miss a wave for that base, but I don't want to greed too much trying to get a really good base. But I can just base now and spend my gold. Oh. We'll follow up with the ult because we're not really in range. We have to wait. Come on. Come on. We know Pike is somewhere there, man. God damn it. I think people should have been chasing there. Guys, guys. Oh my god, I'm in so much trouble here. What the hell, man? <laughs> They're just ignoring everything. Okay, at least... It's a good trade for my team, but I gave over a huge shutdown there. And to Lucian as well. Let's get a dagger, because that'll be relevant once we start building towards Zeal. Holy fuck, the Pike HP. How is he so healthy now? No, oh, fuck me. Jesus. That was obscene. What's the last HP we saw him on? I was thinking that I could leave him because he was on no HP anyway. Bro, look at the... Oh my god, he ended up coming up with more than half HP. Jesus, okay, my bad. I should have just flashed on Pike to finish him off. I didn't think he would be able to rejoin the fight so healthily. Okay, but about to get ult up. Ooh, he didn't fear. He should have immediately feared the Lucian. Oh man, that was an easy kill missed out on. Maybe I can get a kill on Lucian here? Main thing I want to do is get vision of this brush. Okay, he's not there. Where is he? No way! What? Oh no! <laughs> I thought he was actually gone. Okay, I guess it, my ult was just not giving me the vision that I thought it would. I was just uh, once I did my first two shots, I was convinced he was just like all the way over there or something, and I was just throwing my third shot out of desperation. I was so surprised when I actually hit him. 700 gold shot down to me. That is so good. Very important. Oh man. Mm, we'll get a long sword. I don't think it's worth waiting just to sell my refillable for quick look. Quick look would be really nice, but not worth waiting and also selling refillable for. Kind of my bad. Art must exist beyond reason. I am a slave to this passion. The minion wave is here, so I'm not too worried unless... Holy crap. My bad. I should have been worried. I didn't even get Pike cooked. Wait, did I? Oh, I just got a melee queued and it was still enough. My bad. I wasn't thinking about the E. I was thinking about the minion, the minion wave blocking his Q. My bad. I definitely could have avoided that. It was just unexpected. Like, if I just cut it to the left, I was just kind of panicking because I wasn't expecting it. And again, man, I can't base on... 
Nunca or this or sorry not Nunca or Quick Look, that's so annoying. Just keep barely not having enough for every base. Mm. Not gonna be able to protect this turret, but maybe we can clean them up. We managed the illusion. Pop the ghost. Perfect, got him. Oh. Come on. Where is he? Here he is. Hopefully dead here. Got him. God bless. Double kill. Doesn't make up for the turret, but it helps. Helps me feel better about it. Oh, thankfully my team got the first turret as well. They just got mid while that was all going on. Ah, but we don't even get platings here. Sad. They run out just as we reach the turret. The price of that means we might get the turret here. No! He, dude, he got pulled back there. What? I'm so screwed here. Ugh. What is that slow? Oh, dust blade. Oh, man. Oh, no. Fuck, that sucks, man. Okay, at least I can finally get that quick look in the form of zeal. Oh, I didn't... I meant to... Drop the aggro. That took so much turret damage there. But that was a, like, a weird knockback that Lucian had with uh, the Nautilus Key. Look at this. It's because he got blocked by the turret. And look at that bounce back. God damn. That is so weird. I know it's something to do with the turret, but I don't know why it would make him do that. I guess it's because he couldn't actually get pulled back as far as he should have been. Because the turret was in the way. It doesn't pull him into the wall. It just... Uh, like, kind of, like, forces him against it. And so then when it, when the Nautilus like slight bounce back happened, it looked really extreme because it actually, the bounce back distance is the same as it normally would have been. And it just looks really extreme compared to what it really looked like because it's uh, him being pulled against the wall that was restricted. Made it very misleading as to where he'd actually get bounced back to. Uh, I'm kind of taking a big risk farming here alone when I don't have vision. My Nautilus should not be leaving me alone here because I want to farm this. But I can't do it safely. But I'm just going to take the risk. Because we're playing in low elo. I don't think... Like, I mean, there's a decent chance the enemies won't punish this. Yeah, you can see the enemies just show up on mid vision. Which lets me know that I'm safe to push here. They should have been rushing bot to punish me shoving here. Instead, they go mid and get a double kill. Noobs. Well, at least we tried turret for turret. Can't match the kills, though. Okay, if they go out of vision... No, they're not going out of vision. We can keep pushing then. Because I obviously can't defend 1v3, even if I based. And if I do base, there's a lot of time that's also going to be spent on rotating, which is not going to be productive. I wonder what they think when they see me. I just want to get that cannon, man. <laughs> Wait, shit, they could be collapsing, yeah, collapsing on me now. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they went. Okay, looks like I'm fine. Yeah, they're all top side still. Finally, I get the cannon. It just took forever, man. He's got no E. He's got Stride Breaker. Wait, there we go. He's gonna die here eventually. Come on! Horses need a flash because I lost vision at the worst moment, man. Oh well. Currently, I actually done double the damage of Lucian with my Kraken Slayer compared to his Kraken Slayer, and we both finished it at the same time. Just for anybody who uh, was in my previous video of Kraken Slayer Jin saying, but Jin doesn't get any Kraken Slayer procs, he's got no attack speed. Yeah, but your Kraken Slayer proc does double the damage of anybody else's. Well, not yet, but it will. And even before it does, it's still doing decent damage.
Okay. Ooh, that was an awkward... Ooh, okay. It was a really awkward timing for Nautilus to ult, because he could have waited for the wind wall to be over, so he could actually follow it up. Then he forced me to path around the wind wall, which also put me at risk of getting Gauss ulted. I should have just ignored it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, he's already charging hook. Okay. Nice, he should have... This Lucian should have kept on trying to finish me. Oh! Double kill. Perfect. Who could be coming from here? Vi, for sure, is coming. Fiddlestick should be actually damaging her. He should be forcing her to have to turn on him. That sucks. Oh, I didn't see my auto go off, so I couldn't kite. My bad. Yeah, Fiddlesticks actually goes aggressive on Vi. She, she probably, she either has to like lose all of her HP, or she decides, well, I can't ignore this, and she has to go aggressive on him. Then once her cooldowns are up, then I can actually go on Vi as well. Especially starting off with my W to make sure she's rooted, so I don't just get immediately ulted, I get some free damage before she can actually start fighting back. Uh, since I could already go for an Infinity Edge here, I feel like I may as well do it. Definitely don't want to do Blood Thister. The comp is actually quite tanky this time. So we'll start off with that. I can probably just get away with not doing Lord Dominix as usual, though. Yeah, so now my Kraken Slayer proc is doing 80 more damage per proc than Lucian's is. And because of my ch my whole chasing potential thing, it is actually very realistic that I can just get more Kraken Slayer procs than Lucian can. Just because I can auto-attack people more than he can, despite my lower attack speed. When you think about it, movement speed for Jin is like attack speed for other champions. The faster you move, the more auto-attacks you get. Nice one. Wow, we just get a free Baron here. This this is the worst place for that fight to happen for their team. Or for, for any... For, this is the worst place for any team to lose a fight. Because the enemy team literally has no choice but to do Baron. There's no other logical choice except to do Baron. We have Smite, right? We do. Now let's go do Drake too. Drake, Drake, Drake. Like a lot of the time in this elo, or well, in low elos in general, while I've been doing these kind of series, a lot of the time I just struggle to get my team to do objectives like Baron after an ace like that. Because one person or two people will go off to the side, and then the people that do want to follow the call, they're like, uh, we don't have people coming, should we even tr bother trying? And then because they don't immediately move to Baron, the people that went off to the side don't bother turning against their decision either. But this time, it just happens literally in front of Baron. Nobody thought we should do anything except do Baron. How convenient is that? Oh, Vayne is in trouble there. Probably just gonna go one shot, but... Ooh. Ooh. He also has fucked. Should have ghosted sooner. Come on. Got her. That was actually kind of a close one. If I didn't crit her there, I would have been fucked, I think. Oh, I didn't crit her, which could have also fucked me. Oh, man. And he's dead. Minion screwed him really hard there. I mean, he knew they were gonna screw him, he just kept walking forwards with his ult anyway, knowing that it wouldn't actually deal damage to me. Even if he cancelled his ult early and just switched to auto attacking me, I'm sure I could have tanked him, tanked him long enough to then one-shot him after. As soon as my auto attacks were back up. Um, can we go for the sin hub? Well, they have to either defend against me or have to defend against Zed, I guess. Oh, well, he also is already there. I, I was gonna say, I guess what I'll just do is I'll just keep pushing there until you come defend and then I go help top. I didn't crit. I needed a crit there. If I had crit, I wouldn't have been in range of his stride breaker. Okay, at least I should live here. Unless, does he have flash? I guess not. Thank God. Jesus. Nice one. Two. 
Okay. Alright, and I'm out of here. Alright, well, no, let's just keep pushing for now, I guess. I mean, no, this set is really low. We should not be pushing, but it might work out. Ow. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus, okay, I got one auto off before I died in a one shot, y'all, so. Thank Lord. Well, I mean, I guess I might as well just do Bloodthirster next. Since I haven't put the base on enough for it, that'll make me extremely hard to take down. Especially because I compare it immediately with the Zeal, which already gives a lot of the benefits that Fire Cannon would give. Just a little bit less attack speed. Well, half the attack speed, really. And obviously the lack of ranged auto. But we get most of the movement speed that it would give us. We just like the 15% attack speed converted into movement speed on crits. And at this point, since we're relatively sure that our next base, no matter what, will give us enough for Fire Cannon, we can just go for the Elixir as well, since it's probably not going to delay Fire Cannon. And it's also not such a massive power spike that we want to immediately base for it the moment we have the gold for it. And we just want to just chill until, like, we have the base pretty much. Or until there's nothing better to do, like, if our team is just not pressuring for whatever reason, like, if they've died. Like, now. Nah, just kidding. It's one for one. I'm taking far too big a risk here. Okay, nice, I got it. Oh, and of course we're missing 5% crit for the full 100%. Man, that ranged auto would be really nice though. Uh, what are we doing here? I guess we're just waiting for Baron. Or for Drake. For Drake and Baron, really. We're gonna do Drake while we're waiting for Baron. I will not suffer this ugliness. God, my damage, man. And I'm just so tanky, man. Because every time I auto, it regenerates like fucking 200 HP. Even, it's like 400 HP if I have fleet up. It's ridiculous. Gonna time the auto for the 50 gold. Come on. There we go. <laughs> GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Jint Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Jin Lux into Ezreal Zyra. So going for a little bit of cheese here, see if she lands this. She does, we'll level up the W as well then. And combo together, should be an easy kill there. Nicely done, even first blood for me. Let's switch on to the minions now, since we're not going to kill Zyra. Oh, I thought she hit that, my bad. On to Zyra. It's a bit late in following it up as well, since I was busy while sitting. Damn it. Okay, I can actually just base here. I have an awkward amount to base on, but... Oh, hello. This might be a kill then. Oh. Hang on. He is dead eventually. Oh god, but he died to Lux. Let's get out of here. I don't know if I... That flash was probably stalling on him, honestly. But whatever. Just leave the wave, leave the wave. This will push towards us. 
Can really try and crash on this HP. Hmm. I'll literally only take Swifties here so I can arrive into the lane faster. Otherwise, I would have just done pickaxe and double longsword. But I was going to do the correct play here of trying to crash this in as fast as possible to try and maximize the amount of farm that I missed. Fortunately, her wave clear is not amazing this early on. So I'll miss minimal farm, but the, l the faster I arrive into lane, the less farm I will miss. So I want to start the Swifties just to get as much as I can here. I actually only missed one CS for that base. That was actually really nice. Actually, I won't bother even leveling traps here, even though I got plenty of mana. I actually really use them at level 3 anyway. Oh man, that's such a shame that Lux got the kill, though. <laughs> Could've been 3 kills for me. I must have died to minions. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. My bad. The world is cruel. It doesn't touch me. Do we manage to answer with that? I think we did, but I'm not entirely sure. Nice one. Okay, her E actually killed him. That's nice one. I was just pulling that up because I thought her E would be enough to drop him low enough that he would di then die to an auto. Didn't think the E itself would finish him off. We can just rush this down. So I think I'll get one more Q bounce. No worries. We'll be some pickaxe now. Hopefully Zara doesn't freeze this. Yeah, awesome. Did not feel like walking up at the wave and delaying my base just to make sure she didn't freeze that. Holy shit, I just randomly went deaf in one ear. That was freaky. My hearing is back now. It was literally while I was mid-sentence. I'd be panicking for a moment there, wondering whether my hearing would come back. All good. That must have been semi-frequently, but I, uh, I think that was the first time it happened mid-sentence, and I just... Threw me off really hard just randomly just hearing my own voice differently. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that fourth shot would do extra damage to the plant and one shot it. But it just acts like any other auto. Nice one. So whenever Lux lands a uh, e, that's also a pretty much guaranteed Q, uh, W can land if you aim it right, because they're going to be so slowed. I didn't even aim it right, but uh, generally they're so slowed that if you aim it correctly, they're just not going to be able to dodge it. Either Lux E or Lux E are just going to be free Ws every time, which is why the combo is so nice. Nice bounce. Both of her Q hits got soaked up by the plants. 
Oh, we're getting ganked. I didn't even notice. We'll pop Ghost. Damn. That's rough. Damn it. Thankfully this plant is not in range. If I can base and leave this frozen, that's actually really good. Oh, I don't know why the minions are turning around there, but whatever. It's maybe a bit too close to the turret because the minions just stopped following me, but... Nah, this works, this works. Could have been an even better freeze if I just kept dragging it, but this is more than acceptable as well. Actually, we'll do this. This is even more valuable than a longsword. Since I don't want the cell refillable. But basically with the small wave clear trick, or wait, sorry, wave management trick, we're gonna make Ezreal miss an entire wave. When you otherwise would have missed only like two to three farm. I am a singer without a voice. The they should have just stuck around to make sure they should have done that wave. Obviously like Ezreal was really low so he didn't want to risk it, but at really Zara should have been able to just shove that. Ooh, I got minion block away from that, that's so annoying. <laughs> really Zara should have been able to... Pressure me there since she had mana and HP. What the hell? Just slowed by the E. Hello, there's an... Oh, that was Ezreal Eing into her. I thought that was their jungler appearing out of vision. I blocked the shot. Speaking of the jungler, by the way, it is a knocked and we gotta watch out for the level 6, but... Is he currently level 4 or has he just not shown up on the map in a while? Oh, wait, where look Wait! Oh, he's just AFK. Okay. Unless he literally just has not shown up on the map for ages. Got him. Oh! No, I don't. No! Oh, fuck, I thought I'd ghost. No, I was gonna say, if he's smart, he should be ulting in that brush. But I should have been able to finish him off. Uh, like, I should have got hit by the ult, but probably finished him off before he could burst me down. But my ward just did not enter the brush. That's a bit unfortunate. That's my bad. Oh, Nocturne actually isn't AFK, I guess. What level is he, though? He hasn't appeared in vision. What? I still can't see his level 6 because he never appeared in vision. That's actually really funny. Wait, maybe that's why I haven't seen him go up in levels. If if, if he's had like two kills since hitting level 6, and both of them were like during his ult, and then you never appeared in vision afterwards, then maybe that's why <laughs> you're supposed to be level 4. Well, ah, oh, no, but he doesn't have any other kills though. So that would have been the first time. He's clearly just been very inactive on the map then. Hello, Zara. God damn it. Get the flash so I don't get the kill. Okay, we'll start shoving this in. Azrael is really low. He has to base. Actually, I should be saving that W to combo with Lux. So he's not really getting many lost hits here because he has to play so safe. Okay, well this W I'm just gonna use it to get lost hits. Mm, she should be aiming for Ezreal since he wants to lost it. We'll focus Ezreal instead. Oh, we're getting ganked. I'm fucked, aren't I? Okay, maybe not. Ah, oh, he has ult. Damn. Oh, well. He's level 8. Yeah, he just didn't gank for a while, but he wasn't AFK. Fair enough. Oh, damn, that's rough. Come on, Shaco. 
Ugh. You may want to queue away. Does he not have Q? No way. Oh, and he didn't direct the clone towards Narkin. That was pretty poorly played. Okay, at least he's shoving this into me. He might actually die there. This cannon is on his case. Ah, uh, but it gave up. Maybe Zed gets him, though. I don't think he will, unless he has flash. Oh, in that case. <laughs> okay. He did not leave that to chance. Let me have the whip, please. Oh, god damn it, man. It's too late for me to rotate mid now. Okay, at least he's not taking the whole wave. Just a small cannon tax. Okay, I'm gonna go place a ward. Wanna have deepest vision for this nocturne? Obviously, we see his top side at the moment, but should also be able to get the scuttle crab. Ow! Whoa! She cast that from out of vision. Damn, she played that well. That was an uh, impossible to dodge, I think. Smiles and screams. I bring both. Mm, I may have made a poor choice here. I'm slowly gonna die here. Unless. <laughs> yeah, I am. Sad. Oh, does Zara die there? Probably uh, just an execute, though. Yeah, nobody touched her. That's rough, man. Where did I greed here? First trying to land an auto Ezreal, which cost me uh, like a, a free Ezreal Q worth of HP. Then trying to hit this backline when I should have been trying to avoid the Zara E at all costs. Unfortunately, no point actually did I actually hit Ezreal with anything, so there was never any point in actually throwing W at him. Uh, I think I may as well sell this. Oh wait, no, I don't need to, my bad. As well as made a decent comeback in lane. Still 40 CS down, but actually losing lane at this point. A lot of help from his laners. Oh, no, sorry, not his laners, obviously, but there's Nocton, obviously, but. Like that Ezreal ult from the brush there, for example, That even if that only worked because I just fucked up, it was still a really good play. Like I was pointing out, like a good player would do that. It was his only choice there to try and live. Or at least to try and get a kill back. I'm really salty I fucked up that ward. Such a minor mistake to make. With such great consequences. He's trying to block these shots for Zara, but he really shouldn't be in this situation. Wow, that Lux really needed to be more patient with her ultimate as well. We didn't see whether I missed the ultimate, and if I do, then ult Ezreal. And if I don't, then go for Zara instead. Instead, she just missed the ultimate on Ezreal, <laughs> who I was already going for. I wouldn't say I can do Gromp at a comfortable speed at this stage. Maybe I could do it healthily, I'm not sure. But it would de definitely take me far too long, so we'll just go do the Drake. Nice one. Maybe we could get Ziggs here. I didn't bounce onto him like I wanted it to. Zed should be going bot. He's got a lot more kill potential in Ezreal than I do, but... Just go bot. <coughs> Soak up this wave. Shove in another one or two. At least that'll give us gold for a Phantom then, sir. Death should never be quick. It 
should be enough. Can I maybe chase him down here? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, now that I'm dodged that, sure, should be free. Nice one. He actually nearly hit me with that. If I hadn't been so fast, would have been a nice prediction. Yeah, this is a risky fight to go for, honestly. I'm lucky I played it better than him. It's not like I can know in advance that I would just barely dodge some of that stuff. I don't have the kind of lead really where I should comfortably go for those plays, but it worked out this time. The reason why that sh probably should not have worked is because I had to be running into him while he is a champion who from outside of my range can just keep on poking away at me. If you had just hit more of the stuff while I was running into him, I would have been low enough that the play wouldn't have worked. Chasing people down like that, it works a lot better. Either when I've got a massive lead so it doesn't matter that he can poke away at me from outside of my range. Or if they don't have anything to hit me out from outside of my range with. So they can't start hitting me until I can start hitting them as well. And then I know that I just win the the uh, stat check. And uh, at that So in that occasion, I do win the stat check against Ezreal, which is why that works so well. But I'm just lucky that I barely got, got hit by any poke at all while I was running into him. Because that really should have ruined my play. Can maybe do wolves here. I think Shaker wants them. Oh. Of course he's blocking me off. Ow, fuck. I need to go near a wall. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but what you want to do against Nocturne whenever he's ulting. So long as you have flash up, you want to go near a wall so you can always flash past it. Because that's the only reliable way to break the Nocturne tether. If you just flash away from him, do it like with a regular flash, he could still uh, not like the tether might not break, and so he still chases you down and kills you, even if he doesn't have flash himself. But if you flash through a wall, that will always break the knockdown tether, because he won't be able to immediately chase you in the same direction, and it'll just break the tether in that momentary uh, second where he's just not chasing you down. So whenever you hear the Nocturne ult, you know, get ready to flash anything if it flashes up, because that's how you're going to survive it. In that instance, we were running towards this wall right there. Oh, should have been able to get that turret, my bad. Obviously, I would rather that whatever wall you flash into, it's going to be in the direction of safety, right? Not into the enemy jungle, like if I was to flash through there. Maybe I live, maybe I don't, depends who's there, right? There we go. Alright, uh, I should have enough for Farkana now. Yep. May as well get this. Nice one, guys. Well, the Sejal was in the middle of a great comeback, and it's just been death after death after death after death after death ever since then. It was 3 and 5 from like 0 and 5 or something, and then now 3 and 9. Oh my lord. Another invisible Zara E. Yep. We're just gonna sprint out of here. Nocton is pretty far away, you can't hold me. Yet. Well, if I get into vision here, he will. I have no choice but the base here, I think, sadly. Unless. <laughs> nice try. Close, close, close. Okay, Nocton is distracted right now. And he's so low that I uh, don't have to be afraid of him anymore, actually. We should be able to get this turret now. My team is the Drake. 
Well, I suppose the, it's a Mountain Drake, so it's the tankiest Drake, and they only have two. Maybe I should have gone to help them. But my thought process there was, yeah, Drake is secured. We don't need to help. We can just focus on basing since the enemy team isn't contesting. Eh, it doesn't take them too long. Sadie Shaco, at least. Thems had farmed the wave here, didn't he? Where is this? We can use FKs to figure it out. We just need to find the Nocturne Trail. Oh. Never even found it, though. Did he not use it? Maybe I'm just blind. Ow. Hello. Oh, I didn't crash. I don't get movement speed. Ah, damn it. That sucks. I tried to turn back up to Ezreal to crit him so I could run away faster, but then I lost vision. So just look dumb. Oh well. Let's see, what what did I fuck up there with? I feel like turning back onto Jin. Uh, sorry, Ziggs was fine there. The, the fortunate thing is, though, I, I was delayed in being able to kill Jace here. I suppose I could have queued him, but the Q would not also not have killed him there, I'm pretty sure, because of the shield. So it's just very unfortunate that I had to flash through to kill him. At least I was able to dodge the Ezreal ult at the same time with that. But it wasn't a crit, so I'm just running away really slowly. Ah, that was pretty unfortunate, actually. Especially because, I mean, I didn't also see what was happening behind me here. Wasn't expecting to get flanked. Can't really evaluate that properly at the moment, though. So I may as well sell, sell Doran's Blade for a quick look. Um, by the way, this will be the last game of the video. I forgot to point that out at the start of this game. Want to stick near Lux, but it looks like it's not going for us. Oh, missed the cannon. Of it. Oh, I actually got hit by that. My bad. That didn't even look like it was aimed at me. I didn't think anyway. My bad. I just assumed. I mean, I assumed she was aiming at that at Lux, right? Uh, she ended like in an in-between point, which made it miss Lux, who was uh, who was extremely easy to hit. But then it hit me because I thought I could aff afford to move slightly upwards. My bad. Oh, that's not good. Giving up a lot of unnecessary kills here. Okay, when we revive, the enemies can't do Baron, so we're just going to rush to the red buff. Zed is going to get this mid farm. Otherwise, I would have I would have just said, oh, actually, Jace is pushing in this wave, which means there's a wave coming into me. So we'll just go farm the mid wave, then we go to the red buff. We know Zed is farming the wave, so we'll just let him have that. We don't want to fight over the farm with him. We just want to go be efficient, do anything else. If there is something else available, and that is red buff right now. He's farming the next wave as well. So now we would either go bot, there's no bot wave, so we just go for golems instead. Oh, these are really squishy. Shaco wants Raptors, I think, so I'll let him have those. I'm gonna knock his butt here because there's still nothing else for me to farm. So we're gonna have some downtime in farming here. Oh, hello. I wasn't paying attention. At least I'll live, so long as Nocturne doesn't ult me. I need to get out of vision ASAP. Okay, we're good. Nocton is over there. We'll be healing up with the red buff and lifesteal here. 
Ideally, Gangplank would be farming something else, but it is what it is. Maybe I can catch on Nocturne here. Or somebody. Oh, hello. By the way, I think probably this game would have been performing better if I was running Cleanse. I think I just need to run Cleanse every game against Zyra. It's really high value. It's not as important as against, like, Leona or something, but... Whenever you get hit by a random Zyra root, it can still easily lead to a one-shot combo. If she follows it up with her ultimate. Nice one. I just pressed R and nothing happened. What? I decided not to ult anyway, so it's a good thing. Am I fucked here? Oh, he's here. Yeah, I decided not to ult anyway, but Jesus. I just pressed R and nothing happened. Like, what? Imagine if I did want to ult. And the timing was sensitive. Oh, we're about to ult each other. <laughs> ah, fucking Elzigs. Close. I did very little damage there. Yeah, so this guy has a bunch of armor and so does Ezreal. Both of them felt like I was doing uh, unusually low damage to, and that's why. Figured they both had to have armor. It's just weird because both of them never build this much armor this early on. Ooh, he didn't get hit. Oh, Gameplank has him though. Nice one. Ow. Ah, slowed by the E that I didn't see. Please don't reach me. Yeah, he's on Gangplank. I didn't even know Gangplank was low there. I have flash in case he flashes on me. Yeah, I'm good. Wait, the fucking E. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Keep accidentally walking to the. I don't know if it's just because of the skin or something, but I always miss it. Okay, I think they w this is actually a game where we want to do Lord Dominix. Nah, fuck that. We do plenty of damage if we just chase people down hard enough. Well, uh, well all I want is survivability, so I can just keep chasing people down. I never fall to low HP that I need to back off. I could be wrong about this, but, you know, this is how we test this theory. We try it. This is actually one of the first games where I actually do feel like, uh... Um... It feels weird not to build Lord Dominix over Bloodthirster, but... Bloodthirster has been working out really well so far in literally every scenario, no matter how much armor the enemies built, and whether I could notice it or not. I would be screwed here if he came on me. Oh, is he there? I can't fucking see, man. Oh my god. If that crit, that was... Oh, if that crit, that was a kill on Ezreal. I'm so sad. How much crit do I have? 80%. How sad is that, man? <laughs> Jesus. Um, Yeah, we got the fort for that to happen. So I could finish the Vamp Scepter. But I'll I'll just accept finishing Bloodthirster uh, 110 gold later. Which might not make a difference anyway. And just prioritize the Crit Cloak over Vamp Scepter. Because I think that's a better component. Oh, so there was nothing to do in that situation. I didn't choose if I, uh, didn't choose Longsword over Cloak. I just could only afford Longsword, but moving forwards, I would rather have the Cloak now that I have the choice. <laughs> that was sad, man. 80% chance to get a kill and probably escape after, and I just don't kill him. I don't know if I would have lived, actually. I don't remember. Still late to check now. But I definitely felt... Nah, I think I was just trying to trade one for one. But it should have been a one for one. I felt very cheated that he didn't get punished for dashing forwards there. Uh, wait, my team are on Baron. I can't do red buff. I need to follow this up. In case the enemies contest. It's looking like it'll probably just be free. But we can't take the risk. Okay, perfect. Zed is going for the mid farm as usual. I'll go for red buff. Try and make myself useful. That isn't just sharing farm with Zed. I'd like to get the raptors and just let Shaco of golems. I don't want to go for golems if I can avoid it because the raptors are actually closer to mid. So if I want to farm a camp in between rotating towards mid, I would rather be raptors. Oh, 
Ooh, hello. Is Ezreal in this brush? I think he is, yeah. Come on, I don't get vision because of the knocked ult. Nice one. At least they, they weren't coordinated with that. So Ezreal just jumped out of the brush anyway. We can kill Ziggs. Oh. Does he also have armor? He does have some armor, not an unusual amount though. Perfect. Seven hundred and thirty two movement speed is what we max out at. Out without ghost. Oh my lord, I didn't even get the toucher, man. Yeah, definitely cleanse next time we're playing against Zara, no matter what the rest of the bot lane is. Or the, or the rest of the comp. Probably should not have hit him there, he could have jumped on me and maybe one shot me. See what I mean though, like if we stay healthy against the Cedril, we don't like the damage to kill him, regardless of his armor. Same for Nocturne. They can get as tanky as they want. With my movement speed, they can never escape me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get Nocturne ulted and die here, but oh well. Ooh, could I get the Jace? Maybe if I turned on him sooner. Nah, I doubt it. One auto would not have done it, and that couldn't fit in anymore. Okay, at least we got two Nexus stars for that. Possibly worth it, especially with getting the streak. I think only against extremely tanky comps, like against super tanks like Orn, Malphite, Ramus, only against that kind of stuff do you maybe want to get Lord Dominix. So far, I haven't had the chance to test that though. We keep not facing super tanky comps, just vaguely tanky comps. Hmm. My lord. We're gonna have to flash to break the tower there, sadly. Come on. There we go. Takes a while, but we don't lose HP. This guy is certainly about to. Ooh, or not. Maybe not about to die. He can W back. Well, it's a bit risky though. <laughs> Actually, I'll just push into their base. She can't hit me. I'm just too fast, man. Wait, I'm slowed. Fucking, how do I keep missing those zigzies? Man, that's crazy. All right, GG.